you know, sometimes in life, we don't get what we want. For example, I'm trying to remember this thick five foot three goth chick I met in college. I done tried so hard and I never got her. You know, other people like Fresh, they want to make money. <laughs> they want to keep their money. And unfortunately, that's not the way life goes. A little Uzi Vert featuring Nicki Minaj. That's true. That right. She's sipping my wet and yeah, I swear I get her wetter. My loop but that's new, so my bottom stays is redder. No, I'm not a rat, but I'm all up on my channel. Just talk to your homie, she said we should be together. Gave me brand was so insane that I made her my header. If she ever call my phone, you know I got a debtor. But I like that girl so much, I wish I never met her. Now you begging is a doozy, but beggars cannot be choosy. Been a queen for eight summers, just tell them to call me Susie. Does that Nikki, does that Oxy? This Hennessy got me woozy Broke the internet in 54 11s and some Gucci The blue ribbon eating sushi This that man, This that where this chat a hoochie Fuck all of y'all like a hoochie Giving them bars since the tea I ain't going back to Juvie I am Nikki, I'm a Gucci Cause I skate with the ice I don't say what's the price Looking like it's a heist I've been winning all my life On the road, it's the dice Since that itty bitty picky Rub my city like committees If you fucked it up with Nikki You feel pretty fucking shitty uh, Anyway, I'm stopping past like the TSA Listen up you little bitches It's a PSA I'm still shading All these niggas Yeah the beat away You gotta pay me flat bread Yeah the Peter away I know you're sad and tired You got nothing left to give You'll find another life to live I know that you'll get over it Wish I never ever ever told you things I was only only trying to show you things I stopped heart on your neck trying to froze your ring I had to get me a new bitch to hold the pain We was in Hawaii looking at the rain Yeah, she's smiling happy but I'm laughing cause a new man lane Damn, that just goes to show me money don't attract a thing to the plan, even though you used to go with me. Yeah, I, I know it hurts sometimes, but you'll get over it. You'll find another life to live. I swear that you'll get over it. And I know you're sad and tired. You got nothing left to give. You'll find another life to live. I know that you'll get over it. Side off my raft, you strapped up your rig. Diamonds on your neck, ice all on my wrist. Compliment myself, she don't want me, I'm running wild. You know I respect her on that level. She don't want me, then I'm a leather. Go over there with that bro fella. Walk off my St. Laurent, that leather. My new chick, I swear that she better. Want me back, never. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That right. That right. She sipping one way and yeah, I swear it get her wet. My loop, but that's new, so my bottom stays red. Right. Right. No, I'm not a rat, but I'm all up on my channel. Yeah. Just talk to your homie, she said we should be together. Yeah. Gave me brand was so insane that I made her my head. Yeah. If she ever call my phone, you know I got a dad. Yeah. But I like that girl too much, I wish I never met her. Yeah. <laughs> I know sometimes child support hurts, but I know you'll get over it. <laughs> what a great one. Hey, yo, you know, you want to change your life? You want to change your life? You got to change what you do. You got to change your habits. 
You got to change the time you wake up. You got to change your diet. You got to change your exercise regime. You got to change your mindset. All of that together. You can't just pro profess to be an alpha and everything else just falls in it. You know, sometimes you shouldn't have fucked that girl for the second time. And that brings us to the next song, Cold Pizza by Mike Torrance. So let's get it. shouldn't have fucked that girl for the second time, bro. <laughs> You're trying to change your life. Your daddy was pouring Barbados, and now you're going to be pouring the Miami, bro. Tis, tis, tis. Typical roach behavior. But let's hear, we got two more beats. Let's hear another beat. This one is an aggressive beat to motivate the young Brutos to do things that Fresh, a.k.a. Wallace, is Walter. <laughs> this ninja's name is Walter, bro. <laughs> I'm going to try to motivate you guys to do what Walter never did in his teenage years and his 20s. Actually work hard. Let's get it. This is failure. Oh. 
I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream, and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all listening to me, cause I want it. I'm the only one that really want it. I'm the only one that's really on it. I'm just being honest. I'm just doing everything I promise, cause I want it bad enough that I'ma make it as an artist. And I know I'm not the smartest, and I know I'm not the largest, but I promise you that I'ma be the one that worked the hardest, cause I promise you that I'm just getting started. And I promise you that my skills are getting sharper, so I'ma get charted. Can't be guarded. Nah, I'm the one to get retarded. Get the party started. Yeah, get the party started. Yeah, so let me get up on it. Yeah, bitch, you got me fucked up. I don't know what's up. Pour that shit in my cup. We bout to turn up. Crank this shit up so loud. Sounds like we're sold out. In front of a whole That's crowd. We just yeah. control now. Don't take this shit too personally. Everybody got a different version of me. Everybody gotta be learning from me. Everybody wanna be working with me. And I feel like there's uncertainty and urgency to find out what you wanna be. But honestly, we change our minds constantly. So stop and breathe. No matter who you wanna be. So I be cautious, I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this, work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit, no because I want this Don't try to stop me, never ain't an option So I be cautious, I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this, work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit, no because I want this Don't try to stop me Agree. Did you learn anything? Really worth anything? 200 grand later and we're not even working Student loans worth more than what we're earning Best lesson I've learned is to keep on searching Find your true passion and get to work And better take action or you end up serving Yeah, that's a fact So you better clean up your act So you better grow yourself a sack And tell the world they can suck on that Don't come back, pack your bags You take a trip and don't relax You hit the switch and just attack You find your niche and make some racks Don't hold back Everybody wake up It's time to break up With the life you made up it's time to trade up, live the life you want now A life you don't doubt, I could give a fuck how Just make your grit out Wake up, wake up, man this life is a blur Everyone's got an opinion, so which one you prefer? Cause I'll give you one that's coming from an entrepreneur Don't give up on your dream, if it's what you deserve So I'd be cautious, I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this, work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit, no because I want this Don't try to stop me, never ain't an option So I'd be cautious, I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this, work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit, no because I want this Don't try to stop me now Something that the Fresh and Fit squad don't understand. 
because they're federal assets that have been allowed to get large on YouTube. And one of them is a confirmed homosexual. But we're not talking about the confirmed homosexual. We're going to talk about Mr. I've Slept With 2,000 Women. Mr. I'm going to do an interview telling dudes to be careful the kind of woman they bring home. But let me just give you a little tease. Let me give you a little tease before we do the last beat of the evening. How about that? How about that? I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. Oh, <laughs> it's too late for that. Hey, yo, Kanye, tell him the good word. She take my money when I'm in need. Yes, it's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over time. That digs on me. Uh. She kill me mine. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke niggas. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke niggas. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. With a baby knew it's for time Under her underarm She said, I could tell you rock I could tell by your charm For us girls, you gotta flock I could tell by your charm and your arm But I'm looking for the one Have you seen her? My psychic told me she'll have her ass like Serena Trina, Gina, for Lopez Four kids And I gotta take all they badass to show this Okay, get your kids But then they got their friends I pulled up in the bins They all got a pen We all went to den And then I had to pay If you fucking with this girl Then you better be paid You know why? Take too much to touch her. From what I heard, she got a baby by Buster. My best friend said she used to fuck with Usher. I don't care what none of y'all say, I still love her. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. Uh, now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. Uh, get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead. 18 years, 18 years, she got one of your kids, got you for 18 years. I know somebody paying child support for one of his kids. His baby mama car crib is bigger than his. You will see him on TV any given Sunday. Win a Super Bowl and drive off in a Hyundai. She was supposed to buy your shorty Tyco with your money. She went to the doctor, got Lyco with your money. She walk around looking like Michael with your money. Should have got that insured Geico for your money. Money. If you ain't no punk, holla, we want prenup. We want prenup, yeah. It's something that you need to have. Cause when she leave your ass, she gon' leave with half. 18 years, 18 years. And on her 18th birthday, found out it wasn't his. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh. But she ain't messing with no broke niggas, uh. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh. But she ain't messing with no broke niggas, uh. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down, uh. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. You got knees. You don't want a dude to smoke, but he can't buy weed. You go out to eat, he can't pay, y'all can't leave. His dishes in the back, you gotta roll up your sleeves. But while y'all washing, watch him. He gon' make it to a beans out of that toxin. He got that ambition, baby. Look at his eyes. This week he mopping floors, next week is the fries. So stick by his side. I know his dude's ballin', and yeah, that's nice. And they gon' keep calling and trying, but you stay right, girl. And when he get on, he leave your ass for a white girl. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. Get down, girl, gon' head, get down. Get down, girl, gon' head. Let me hear that back. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> Let me do it the right way, guys. Let me do this the correct way. <clears throat> Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to the 328th episode of the UCW Show. Check the title. Fresh and Fit gets hit with child support. 18 years. 
18 years. And on his 18th birthday, he found out what his ah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Right now, Mr. Walter, what's his name? Walter Weiss. His name's, this ninja's name. Let's put his ninja up on the screen real quick. <laughs> this is just funny. Let's put this dude up on the screen. Where is it? Where's the goofiest? Here we go. Here we go. Right now, right now, this ninja's legacy is gestating in a chlamydia cave. <laughs> you know, right now, this, this ninja's legacy is getting multiple concussions because his baby mama is getting reamed out by other dudes. <laughs> oh, yes. So, this is the show. We are here to do our first child support party live stream. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 18 years, he's going to be giving up all of his money. This goofy ass, punk ass, fake ass, roach ass, short ass, little Pumba looking ass bitch, bro. I'm red pill. I'm red pill. I teach men how to interact with women. Then why are you having children with prostitutes, bro? Hmm? Why are you having children with prostitutes? Mm. It, it, hey, 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 cheers. Hey, fuck it. Open two. <laughs> cheers. Cheers <laughs> to all the money that's going to get spent on Gucci from this dude's baby mama stripping him of all wealth and assets. Cheers, Brutas. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. So let me explain why I don't like Fresh and Fit. Because they are frauds. Because Myron Gaines is a federal asset that is homosexual who has made his money telling young straight men how to get women. That's why I don't like Myron Gaines. Walter Pumba here. I don't like him because he is just straight up lying to men to get money. And then with the money he lies about, he buys prostitutes. And then he takes pictures with them and he rents Lamborghinis and he talks about how rich he is. The whole career is a cope. Like, if there weren't suckers to give this dude money... He wouldn't make the money to get these chicks, to get these prostitutes, to be quite frank, or to rent these Lambos or rent these yachts. That's right. That's right. Anyhow, if you want to support the show, if you want to support the war band, and if you don't have 18 plus years of child support left to pay, consider donating to cashapp.cashsignundechronic. That's cash app dot cash sign under chronic. That's right, guys. Yedis says he was married to a single mother. I'm not surprised. You could tell me this dude paid $20,000 to have sex with a camel, and I would not be surprised. Like, there's, nothing, there's nothing that pick up roaches, federal assets. You know what Fresh and Fit remind me of? They remind me of the runner-up at the pulled pork category in a barbecue competition, right? They didn't win the pulled pork prize, but they were a runner-up. And so they'll talk about it. They'll be like, oh, we did great pulled pork. We were the runner-up. Yeah. Fresh here, Wallace. No, Walter. I think his name is Walter. <laughs> Walter. Walter here is basically pulled pork that's the runner-up. He's a pig without a badge. You understand that, right? You don't think Myron Gaines? Myron Gaines was literally a pig. He literally worked for the feds. He was a glow pig. You think that had any influence on him being pushed in the algorithms? Huh? You think his, you think his little partner here doesn't know that? 
You think, you think they're not both federal assets? You don't think there's a video of them doing unspeakable things to minors potentially out there? Look how they got Diddy. Hey, any man that's a fed is no man. I don't care if they quit. I don't, I don't even care. As soon as you put on the badge, you are a pig. So these dudes are pigs. They're pigs that got down and dirty with their friends in the FBI, the CIA. So they get pushed in the YouTube algorithm. So they can make money being alpha males. Well, what are they really? One bangs prostitutes and get them pregnant. One, let's, just, let's go through fresh. He bangs hookers, gets them pregnant. He proposed to a woman he met off seeking arrangements, and then she dumped him, and he was married to a single mother. And he's going to talk about Red Pill Online? And he's going to talk about Red Pill Online? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And Myron Gaines, an actual homosexual federal agent. A dude that was pictured naked in a bed with white boys and who proudly worked for the FBI. And he's going to tell men how to get chicks. He's going to tell men about the problems they face. No, we got a gay fed in the simp of Miami, the king simp of Miami. So the king simp of Miami and a gay fed make a podcast where they teach men how to live their life. They teach men about feminism and what kind of women to avoid. Well, you know, I've never really seen any attractive women with either of those two dudes. Never seen it. But I have seen their stupid clips go viral where they quote unquote own these prostitutes. The same woman whose OnlyFans get promoted on the show. The same woman they beg to sleep with. Yeah. They beg these feminist slores. They beg these actual prostitutes to sleep with them. They use their shitty show as a resource to have sex with the loose syphilis walkers in Miami. And they think that makes them an alpha. You know they platform racist rapists, right? They were they were buddy buddy with uh, this black guy that was bragging about how he drugged white women and let them get gang raped. That's the kind of podcast we're talking about. So people go, oh well, fresh and fit spreads the message. Oh, fresh and fit, fresh and that, fresh and fit that. Use a fed. Use a bitch. Use a snitch. I'll stomp a roach's fucking face in his crib. All the fans crying, <laughs> watching fresh and fit. Undead Chronic will turn them roaches into bricks. Have I made my point clear? I hate these people. I want the family court judge to come down from the sky on a chariot with horses with manes of fire like Apollo. And I want him to use the sun's fire to wrap fresh this little Wallace. I want him to wrap Wallace's testicular organs in a loop and drag him into the sun, metaphorically speaking. And then I want him to renege on child support, get sent to jail, federal prison, whatever it is. And then I want Tiresias to resize his sigmoid colon. Mm, that's, that's what I think about these people. So any fresh and fit fans who came in here, you're like, I don't know the situation, or I'm a fresh and fit fit. I'm letting you know, these people are gay feds. They buy hookers. The only thing that they care about is taking your money from you. Do not listen to false prophets. Do not listen to whoremongers. Do not listen to feds. If I need to explain why listening to a Fed is a bad idea, you probably need to see a Waco documentary. I don't know. You probably need to you probably need to look up how the Feds literally started the crack epidemic in the black community. Mm. Maybe you should get educated instead of just being like, but he's an alpha with an OnlyFans girl with fake tits and a fake ass, so I'd love to be with it. If you think the peak 
of feminine <laughs> of feminine beauty is a 20 year old 23 no let me make it let me make it legit if you think the peak of feminine beauty is a 27 year old smurfed out mystery mutt with silicone tits and a fake ass i gotta assume you're a little bit on the down low bro like really <laughs> really really Got the lip fillers in, the Botox. The, these chicks taking prep because they're having sex with so many dudes. Raw dog, they don't want to catch HIV. You you want you, you want a woman like that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Doesn't sound alpha at all, does it? Not to me. Let's check the cash app real quick. We're about to. Uh, we're about to go to the receipts, by the way. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the war band, consider donating to cashapp.cashineundechronic. That's cashapp.cashineundechronic. The link is pinned. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Yida says, fed and fraud. Wait a second. Got that message. He says fed and fraud. Buckaroo Bonsai says get those likes up. Chronic is keeping it real right now. Yeah. I'm saying stuff that if they ban me, if they ban my YouTube channel because I attacked one of their federal assets, that's not surprising. So give me the likes. So at least before I lose this channel, as many fresh and fit simps can understand that their heroes are gay feds. Let's say there's a gay fashion designer. Let's say there's a gay doctor. Does them being gay stop their ability to perform their job well? Well, probably not. I wouldn't presume so. But if a man's job is to teach straight men how to get women, and he's gay, do you think that affects his job? Hmm? You, think, you think a gay federal agent is going to tell you the truth about how to get chicks? I don't think so. X Trigger Mortis says, Chronic, can we have another way of donating? I'm banned on Cash App. I swear I would have given you like 300 by now. Um, yeah, give me a sec. As of now, as of now, the PayPal is still working. So X, oh, wait, what was his name? So X, uh, let's see here. Uh, try PayPal. We'll see if that works. What else we have? If we get 200 likes, Chronic will chug a white claw. I never said that, bro. This gay fed thing seems to be a trend, says Man Bear Pig. Andrew Tate. Myron Gaines. Mike Cernovich. Anywhere, and when you start looking at these ma conservative grifters, these ma manosphere grifters, you start to realize they're actually all gay feds. Hmm. Jack Murphy. <laughs> You can't tell me Jack Murphy wasn't a federal asset. How much time he spent in D.C.? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Alex says, I thought PayPal doxed you. Um, depends on how you define doxed. They banned me for life, but they just opened my account again. So if you want to send the money to PayPal, there you go. Let's see what else you got here. Diddy Feds, Weinstein. Let's see if I got any of the co-hosts want to come in here. Let's see, who's this? I don't even know why you're sending me this. Okay. Oh, Chaz made a video. Oh, Chaz is in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chaz, <laughs> it's a beautiful day, bro. <laughs> Dude, uh, I, I sent you a quick little thing I just like snatched together in like five minutes. It's sent it via Discord. Is it a meme video? Yes. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me open this bitch up then. Uh, let's see here. I'm not gonna say it's a high quality meme, but you know, no, it's dude, a meme the, the low quality, quality memes are the best, man. <laughs> let's see. Um, let me open this up. <laughs> Someone sent me a meme. I can't put it online. But look at the meme. Uh, the Reggie Reggie said me. He, he said, "This is what a fresh and fit party looks like." <laughs> 
can see the <laughs> It's like five naked, like dark to light skinned black dudes standing in a circle. And all their penises who, are tied who, together in a giant knot. Who, okay. <laughs> who is top G in this situation, right? Okay, here we, here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. I, got, I got some good memes here, too. Let's, uh, let's pull up your video. Go back to these memes. Yeah. Dong Shaka is makes great memes here. Okay, let's pull this up. That was a good one. Okay, let's see here. Let me present the screen to you so you can watch it with the boys. Window, no entire screen. There we go. Yeah. It's nowhere near as like high quality as the Latina one, but you hey, know. no, no, the Latina one was personal because they were like, didn't they send you death threats? they we went back and forth in the dms yeah they were hoping that i died so oh no they said they yeah, were yeah. gonna like drain my blood from my body <laughs> they're threatening to dox me you can't hide forever well i mean still am it's like i'm at the fresh produce aisle in the grocery store you'll never find me you fat fucks <laughs> okay here we go we got the uh we got this video from Chaz. It says, uh, fresh and fit paid child support. Let's see what it's about. We made a commitment and you're not doing your share. You never do anything. I changed his diaper. Yeah, once. <laughs> He's only this big. How many diapers can he possibly use? <laughs> child support. I don't know how much it is, but it's probably a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what kind of father am I? And that's that's the really the, that's that's the key, that's the key, bro. He's like, I had no I idea. Yeah, I have no idea women would do this. Really? After ste after stealing the manosphere manosphere's talking points for fucking years. You're surprised that this is happening. So how how did you find out about this? Did they talk about it on their podcast or something? Bro, some random dude, this guy with like fucking like less than three thousand followers on Twitter, dropped the phone call, and he also dropped. You see this? He dropped the DMs too. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to that. Should we go for that first or look at this video? Yeah, part with I mean, what, like part two. Fresh uh, print CEO talks about being careful with girls he takes okay, yeah, home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's okay, let's watch this one first, right? So we hear what he says, and then and then the DMs. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, I got I got to laugh. <laughs> Be careful with the girl. Like what? The girls that you paid to go home with you? Oh, yeah, I'm God. sure you have to be so careful with them. <laughs> God, be careful driving them home in your rented Bugatti. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, look at this. The Fresh Prince CEO talks about being careful with the girls he takes home. <laughs> Dude, he, didn't he claim to have sex with like 4,000 women or something? Dude, dude, I have no idea. I don't watch Fresh and Fit. I don't watch their shit. Yo, chat. Let me know. Content. Didn't he claim he was he had sex with like four thousand women? I could have sworn. Yeah. Oh wait, we got a. Wait. Let me. Let me okay. Back. Whenever insults is used. Uh, bed to pal. Um. Did you send me a message though? I don't think. Well, I don't want to dox the guys. So let me just make up a nickname. Clarisio with a ten piece to the PayPal. Um, Tyrese Maximus. Actually, he sent no, he sent that like five days ago. Oh, interesting. I don't even know what's going on with this. Okay, let's check the cash app real quick, and we'll get to this video. Um, let's see here. <laughs> so it's just the title there. Okay, let's see. We got one super chat. This one is from Frostbite. He says, "Silicone women are bitchier sex dolls." Wait, silicone women. So women with a ton of silicone in them, I assume. Are bitchier sex dolls. Yeah, it's like the inferior product. Like, if you want to talk about sex dolls versus women, if you're going to argue for women, the arguments you make for women over a sex doll don't apply to the um, plastic surgery thoughts that live in Miami. You agree? Yeah, I agree. 
like that's like she can't cook for you she can't clean for you she won't love you you know like the bot a, a sex bot can't love you a sex bot can't cook for you a sex bot can't you know bring femininity in your life a sex bot can't you know comfort you when you're at the lowest what okay you are you me? going yeah. to do all that for yeah. me how about no the, how about well, the silicone then... chicks can they <laughs> yeah and then if they do cook, it's like once a week, shitty food. And then if you ask for a fresh meal, she'll say, oh, there's leftovers from two weeks ago that are moldy. Mm. Just pick it off. Yeah. So right now, Wallace. No, Walter's his name. Walter, bro. Right now, I Walter. am Walter White. I live at blah, blah, blah. Of nah, sorry. So, so right now, Walter. Someone says, isn't this an April Fool's joke? It was dropped on the 3rd, so no. So, Walter, okay, okay. right now, his legacy, his only child. Do you know where his only child is right now? Not with him. Gestating in a syphilis cave. Oh. <laughs> That's even worse. Dude, his kid's going to be three months old, like, having to dodge, like, Tyrone Shalong busting up that cervix. <laughs> that kid is either going to have like the immune system of a god or no immune system at all. There's no in between. The kid's going to come out with a fetal alcohol syndrome so high. Like the kid's going to like get born onto the dish and get taken straight to AA. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's My see. name's Little Timmy. Hi, Timmy. Bloxburg Gamer says, I am the one who pays child support. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Is our next show spoiled and fat? Okay, let's see here. Um, she's interesting. I don't know if Chronic is going to reveal. She is interesting. Oh, the woman he got pregnant. I don't know anything about her, but she like her picture from the sources makes her look like a typical Miami thought. So I don't really need to investigate her, do I? Probably not. I mean, what's there to investigate? She's just some chick that you paid to Bro, be with. How much her do you want to bet she's on the hub? <laughs> the mother of his kid, it's a kid, is going to be all up on P Hub. <laughs> she better not make any like videos while she's pregnant. You know what, dude? I bet. You know what? Maybe we should crowdfund, like, made $5,000 for her to do a porn video when she's like eight months pregnant. <laughs> Because she only cares about money. Like she only the only reason a woman would give that man a kid is money. That's the only reason. So if we offer her enough money, we can <laughs> be like, yo, fresh, your kid's a star. <laughs> Get fresh, bro. Your kid got more views on the hub than your last stream, bro. <laughs> oh, I consider it, but um you know, maybe what you just push that idea onto someone else. That's so funny. Okay. That's what good Mac and cheese sounds like suction cup, man. Um, I've heard that mean before for sure. Let's see. Dion says chronic. You're wild. And yeah, I definitely am a little bit crazy tonight. Well, I mean, I'm happy, dude. Like one of the people I dislike the most on YouTube, like what's 18 years of child support going to be? I mean, a, a lot of money is. What does mean? Fresh talk about all the time? What does it, Walter talk about all the time? How fucking making rich money, he is. how rich they are, how yeah. rich he is. And then in this text exchange, he's telling her he has no money. <laughs> so, so <laughs> he either has, he, he's already destroying his own grift. He's like, I have no money. I have no. First of all, you impregnate a hooker. Second of all, when she comes in for child support, you beg and plead and say, you don't have any money. Third of all, didn't he say abortion was a sin? It's killing a kid. He was super, they're both super anti-abortion because it's popular on the right. He's pushing his chick to get an abortion. So first, you sleep with a hooker. You impregnate a hooker. You try to force her to get an abortion. That's the right wing grift. Like the alpha grift goes away when people realize you impregnated a hooker. The right wing grift goes away when people realize you're trying to force said hooker to have an abortion. And then the alpha male grift goes away when you're begging and pleading and telling her that you're poor. Okay. I mean, and did he ever talk about how it's important to be a good father for a kid? Has he ever mentioned something like that? Because oh, I'm sure pretty he sure he's yeah, stolen like, all of our fucking points, man. Because I'm like, correct me if I'm wrong, Chronic, but killing a kid 
probably isn't the best way to be a father to that kid. I I may be wrong with that. After all, I don't have a bunch of money to prove that I'm right. You don't rent yacht. I got another video of him renting a yacht with a bunch of betas. It's like an all male yacht party. <laughs> Gay. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Myron Gaines is pro choice. Okay, well, no, he still calls abortion mur murder, though. I've heard him call abortion murder. So it's got to be one of the other men. Let's see. Man, one little crack and the whole grift falls apart. That's the truth, man. You go for their weakness. And you know what their weakness are? These people, if they're actually straight, they're actually sex addicts. So that's their weakness. He's broke because he spends his money on hoo has Bugatti, and other vapid stuff. They don't even own their own studio. They rent it. That's, that's the amazing thing. They probably made millions of dollars in the past couple of years, and they don't even own a building they could stream from. They still rent. They rent the pussy they get. They rent the studio they stream in. They rent the Lambos they drive around. And they probably rent the jewelry they wear. I mean, we could go a step beyond. If they are renting and just, you know, buying everything else, the respect that they have earned, right, over the past few years trying to make this content basically is also rented. Because yep. if a guy sees another guy on a yacht with a Bugatti and thinks, damn, that guy's living the dream, I respect that. Well, that respect only lasts for as long as you know the image lasts right yep. so even the respect that they have is temporary is bought now i don't consider myron Gaines or fresh and fit to be african-american they're both black in the terms of they're not white and if you're not white you're basically black in the u.s unless you're Asian, indian or latina but what i'll say is this they're definitely fully bought into ghetto culture like 100 percent like, they talk about the guns they have, they walk up, they like try to fight people for fucking no reason, they're full of themselves, they're braggadocious, and both their fathers are missing from their lives, right? And so, I believe it was Kanye West that said that. Kanye West was talking about the African-American ghetto culture, the negative of it, and what he said is, he said, young black men with no direction, they don't buy land, they buy brands. It's either land or brands. Now, I'm kind of summarizing it strong men will buy land strong men will own what they want to own weak men they buy a fucking gucci shirt they rent a fucking lamborghini they rent a hooker they rent a white girl whatever it is so if you're not buying land you're buying brands and how pathetic is that anybody um, remember the ralph lauren polo t-shirts no I all the fucking know. rage back in the day where are they now Oh, is it like Supreme? Except know. like shit. I mean, it was just popular for suburban kids back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Now they're not popular. Hmm. It's like brands change styles every couple years because that's what the corporations wanted you to do. Huh. It's almost like if these guys had the capacity to think about any of this stuff instead of just repeat what better men had said, they could have avoided the situation. Let's see. One of them's an Arab, Timon, and the other one's an Afro-Caribbean, Pumba. Yep, yep. One is uh, an Arab, and one is from Barbados. Let's see. One is, okay, let's see here. Pick up artists' respect. Come from the money they give out. Once they lose it, no one respects or cares about them. Yeah, well, the new era pickup artists, they are borrowing respect from the manosphere. Do you think Myron Gaines and Fresh and Fit, do you think Fresh and Fit got big because they said they were alpha? Or did they get big because they rented hoes and told them Manosphere talking points to their face? Yeah, I, I mean, I got to give them a tiny bit of credit. Their podcast at least looks nice, right? Like, they may not own the studio, but their setup, it looks nice, right? And most of the time, when you have something that looks nice, people will want it, right? Oh, you, you're buying a cake, right? And it's got all the frosting on it. It looks amazing, right? But then you, when you slice into the cake, you realize it's dry, tastes like shit, and just falls apart easily, right? And Chronic yeah, snuck a dog turd before it went in the oven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why not? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. 18 years. 18 years. And I've described child support as slavery. So 18 years of slavery because... 
no matter what you said, no matter what you professed to believe in, you're just a little fucking incel that never got pussy all throughout high school. And so now the only thing that matters to you is getting pussy. That's the only thing that stays with you for the rest of your life. And now you're having unprotected sex with actual prostitutes to prove to nobody that's listening. Nobody's Chad isn't in the room with you, bro. Becky, your high school crush isn't in the room with you. Who are you proving anything to? You're trying to prove it to yourself. But because you're a little incel for the majority of your young sexually active years, well, sexual inactive years, you're never going to get rid of that pain. And so for the rest of your life, you're going to be chasing the approval of nobody because you hate yourself because you beat up yourself because you got no fucking pussy in high school. That's my psychological analysis of the reason why this dude is banging hookers. Dude, imagine banging a First of all, imagine banging a hooker. Okay. Now imagine banging a hooker with no condom and then finishing inside. He is, I, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. He is lucky that right now it's only a kid he's worrying about, right? He could have gotten a lot of other, you know, STDs, right? The, I mean, who knows? Maybe. Oh, he no, he have. definitely has HPV. Ugh. He definitely has HPV, a couple strains at least. I just, you know what? You think he, I, you know what? I bet money that they actually performed oral on some of these hookers. So he probably has HPV in his throat. Oh, that's a bad thing to get in your throat, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Throat cancer is not a fun time. Trust me. Just, just trust me. It's not a fun time. Because when they give you chemo to get rid of the cancer, you know what happens, Chaz? I you know mean, what chemo I have does? To... Uh, just say it. Chemo kills cells. All right. What kind yeah. of cells do you think it kills? Cells that grow really fast or cells that grow really slow i mean i assume it kills cells that grow fast to prevent the cancer from just rapidly growing exactly so think of like you know typical chemo person the hair like falls out right why yeah because hair follicle the hair follicle cells grow fast yeah makes sense they lose weight they get infections their blood is dying because blood kind of grows fast quote unquote a lot of all the all the side effects are the healthy cells that are supposed to grow fast cancer chemo will make people infertile too so you get throat cancer they give you some chemo and probably just give you radiation they probably just you know use radiation on your throat and then you get ulcers in your throat that you can't and then your and then your vocal cords get shot to shit you might you might go you might go mute you might not be able to eat food Maybe not drink water. You got tubes coming out of your fucking lower throat because you just had to eat out a hooker when you were 22. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine the last meal you ate with your mouth was some syphilis ridden puniti. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying I hope that happens to him. I'm just saying if it does, I'll make a cancer party live stream. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Is yeah, I'm a bit of an asshole. Let's see. An incel is really just a thirsty simp. Yep. And a thirsty pickup artist is really just an incel that got laid eventually. Let's see. To quote Archer, your nails fall off like pogs with, with chemo. Pogs. Alf pogs. Simpson fans will get a kick out of that one. Yep. Vomit fuel. Meals to die for. HPV vaccine looking better. El Don says Arby's. Yeah. I mean, look, these two dudes, they just brag about all the sex they have. Clearly, at least, no, look, you could wear a rubber. You can still catch herpes. You know how you catch herpes if you wear a rubber, Chad? Mm -hmm. I mean, I assume, like, the lips could touch your bare skin. I'm... On your nutsack, bro. On your nuts. Oh, have you known that's... anybody with shingles? I think my grandmother had shingles. Did she ever tell you how painful it was? She told me it was very painful. Yeah, imagine that on your nutsack, bro. <laughs> hey, Grandma, oh. remember when you had shingles? Yeah. How would that feel if they were on my balls? Does it look like <laughs> this? <laughs> no, I, I, I would never. Oh, my God, Chad, why? Does this look familiar to you? Nutsack. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Chaz. I had to, bro. <laughs> no, that, no, that's funny. That's funny. No, oh, that's funny. Okay, let's see. Fed and Fraud never got over that six foot five poor high school Chad mobbed them while they were middle class goons. <laughs> he gave them a swirly. Now they now they gotta go on yachts to prove how they're top G. Shadow says, go balls deep and end up with the burning ring of fire at the base. <laughs> <laughs> the red ring of death. Oh, I used to make the joke. I put on a hazmat suit with like a little G hole for the schlong, and then I cover it up with like Kevlar, and that's how I gotta bang these O's. I mean, at that point, like it, it's not even a joke anymore. Got to, got to be as protected as possible. Okay, let's uh, show. Let's just watch some of this podcast of him being careful with the girls he takes home. I just want to, you know. Yeah, yeah. We gotta have context. Context before receipts. I know. Oh wait, wait. Listen to this. This is from the Round the Way podcast. Round the way. <sighs> 20k subs and this video has 700 so this dude with 20k subs and maybe he had like 1k subs in the video i don't know but a channel with 20k subs interviewed one of the hosts of a channel with million a million plus subs and they couldn't even get a thousand views on it huh okay let's see i gotta yeah. ask you about this too right now mm. you know what i mean because <laughs> oh, you know what I mean, cause <laughs> wow, 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 wow. you black. <laughs> you black. Yeah, you here we go. Here yeah. we go. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, just I can't look at. Maybe it's just because I'm actually a racist. I don't know, but I see dudes that look like this, bro. And you know what I think? What? Damn. There needs to be public resources put into the special needs individuals in our societies. This guy should not be walking around in public making a fool of himself like this. Just off of looking at his face, bro. Look at this goofy-ass hairline. Like, what is that? Bro, come on, man. Bro, he's got a SB at BZ. BZ nuts. Got him. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> my black queens, I got y'all. <laughs> They were queen, my queen. Look at this like, fucking Sims face. My black queens, I got y'all, and he's just like, I love all women. And look, he's wearing. The, he's wearing a cross. Like, mother motherfucker's trying to force his baby mama to kill his kid, and he's out here wearing a blinged out cross. Mm, 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 mm. Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold up now, quick, quick. Real shit now. So what is it like? You're not attracted to black girls, or is is this not you? You just prefer a certain kind of girl. Listen, man. Let me say this once and for all. For all, yeah. I love all my black queens. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Simp. If anybody who looks at this dude and doesn't think simp, you, you don't understand what the red pill is. Now, here's what happened. So we did a show on the podcast, right? Talked about dating apps. You know what's in the current dating market. And the app Black came up, right? Black.com, black .com, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're like, all right, this app is funny because when you go on Blacks, for the most part, what you see is like, you know, ratchet ass black girls. Lakeisha and uh, Lakeisha and LaShonda, yeah. LaShonda. <laughs> no, yeah. No. Wait, 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 wait. These dudes are making fun of ratchet ass black girls as they sit in front of a camera, all wearing fucking sweatshirts with the geometry fifth grade level fucking hairlines smoking shitty ass joints look at look at how this look at how this ninja is holding this joint i have never seen such disrespect they're gonna be talking about ratchet ass black girls and they're dressed like straight up like a bunch of high schoolers on fucking spring break smoking weed in front of a camera acting cool i mean it's two sides of the same coin right like they can make fun of girls being ratchet all they want but you know they're being they at least look just as I know ratchet isn't the right word, but I mean, no, they look just difference. as ratchet as them. Well, oh. they act ratchet, really. They act ratchet. A ratchet chick can put on a filter and look nice. I bet these ninjas love to wear suits and go on a yacht and act like they're important. Oh, for sure. Doesn't change their mindset. Okay. So, do you know why you don't hold a joint like this, bro? I don't know. Does it make the like weed in the cigarette itself like fall further down? So it's you, not yeah, you're as making even? the constriction point right here. So it's a smaller where you, the pressure you put on makes it a smaller area to burn, and you don't get an even smoke. Now this guy wouldn't know that because the first time he smoked weed was when his single mother gave it to him when he was fucking ten. 
never had a scientist teach him how to get high. But hey, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's what it's what happens. Uh, Am I saying that all black women are like that? No, we're just saying it's funny because that app has that uh, stick. Like, okay, why would anyone want to record a podcast in this kind of room? I just look, look, look at this dude. Look how he's holding. It's even holding even worse. And they're like hot box in the room and a bad ventilation. If you're gonna be like, oh, I'm a thug, I'm whatever, I'm gonna smoke weed on a and like make it like a professional looking podcast. At least get some fucking ventilation. Good God. Stigma. So we made a joke about it, and I went viral because we're like, oh, they have black women. No, we don't, bro. My mom's black. My sister's black. It's like, bro, come on. But at the same time, but hold on, hold on. do I have a preference? Hold on, hold on. Sorry to cut I you off. Do. Sorry to cut you off. Your yeah. boy Myron said some shit that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, man. This dude's asking for a lighter. You see him asking for a lighter like a little fiend, bro? Look at this. Maybe if you didn't hold your joint like a fucking woman, you wouldn't need to light it multiple times, bruh. And look, he's pulling his mic straight across... Jazz, this is bad, man. This is really bad. <laughs> Bro, so I've probably bad. smoked weed better than these guys. I guarantee you have. Okay. He said he ain't black. He from um. What he said from? What he said? What he said? He's from Sudan. He is black. That nigga said he not black. He from Sudan. That's what he said. He's more African than all of us. What? So what? My bad. My bad, friend. So what? What he? Wait, wait, wait. If Myron Gaines is black because he's African, right? Does that mean Elon Musk is black because he's African? Of course, he should be allowed to say the N word. Mm -hmm. You know, that's he a free face take. <laughs> how are you going to tell me this guy is on the down low? Like, how? Explain to me why you think this guy is straight. Someone, please. <laughs> this is just, oh man. What he called himself, what he identified himself as. He's black. I know what he said, what he identified himself as. He said some shit like, one of the great challenges. Of ad, course. Ad, ad. Neil deGrasse Tyson ad. Fuck yeah. Of course they got monetized. <laughs> it's just two ignorant ninjas smoking weed in a shitty setup. Totally. Not black. I'm Sudanese. I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that African? No, someone said that he's not black. He's like, bro, I'm African. I am black. Okay, mm. sorry. Yeah, yeah. My mm -hmm. bad, Myron. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no. So, wait, so I guess all those Chinese ladies that fly to LA and give birth. Their kids are American. Basically, you know, Muhammad and Abib up in the UK are white. Huh. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to defend what's black or what's not. But if I was a black guy and an Arab Muslim dude was dropping the end bomb, I'd get more pissed off than if a white guy said it. Just considering how Arabs treated black slaves compared to how whites treat, treated black slaves. If, if the white man, if us white devils treated our black slaves back in the day the way Arabs treated their black slaves, guess what? There would be no African-American population in the U.S. You'd have a lot of big booty at most mulattoes rocking around, but there would not be a black community. You know why, Chaz? Why? I'll tell you why. Because in Arabia, in Muslim countries, when they got black slaves, the first thing they did was castrate the men. They cut their nuts off. But, you know, he's black because he's from Africa. He can say the N-word. Sure. No, no. Once again, bro. We love our black queens, man. We're just okay, saying, bro. That app has a stigma. That's all. Okay. So basically, somebody just took something out of context and ran with it. 100%. That's what they do, bro. They do it with Andrew Tate. They do it with us all the time. It's like, whenever you make content, bro, they'll take a piece of what you said, like maybe a, maybe one, a one minute clip, take it out of context, and then post it to go viral. Okay. That's what and and just to be sure, we're not doing that to them. Wait, we want the is he content. complaining about that? How much money has he made off one minute clips? Probably a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. His whole channel was built off one minute clips and out of context segments. And now he's just like, they took it out of context. I don't hate black women. Look, I hate feminists, which is pretty much the majority of every single race and every single demographic. So yes, I hate black women. I hate white women. I hate white men. I hate black men. You know why? Because every single time I see one, they're a fucking feminist. At least be prideful of your hate. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a Christ cuck. Oh, I can't really call you a Christ cuck because you're pushing abortion on your only kid, but let's continue. That's what they do. Also, one more thing though. Yeah. Cause you just said something right there. I gotta segue into that right there. Yeah. My boy Tate. Yeah. I fuck with Tate. Free talk G man. Now, when you say you fuck with Tate, you need to be more um you need to be more clear with what that means. 
because <laughs> he will have sex with you. He will have sex with you. Yeah, free top G. Top G. Yeah, top G. When you come on top G, you gotta come on Runaway Podcast. Real shit. Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's married. Look at this. Uh, Line that's it up, fresh. That's how you do it. Yeah. Well, all right, fresh, but real shit though, fresh. Mm. I feel like they're hating on it. I feel like the top G, like. Okay, I want to skip the Andrew Tate talk. I want to get to where he talks about being careful. Bro, just skip, just skip to like four minutes in or something. Hey, put that nigga in jail. And once again, in Romania. Pause. Still talking, still talking about I think him. he's part of the clan. <laughs> They can walk outside anytime. Mm -hmm. They can go shopping, come back. So my thing is, with Romania, if he's this this guilty person that's doing all these things, They're still talking about what? fucking Tate. Dude, they spent like these dudes have spent more time. I guarantee you, by the end of this guy's life, he would have spent more time dick riding Andrew Tate than he did raising his child. I guarantee it. Okay, let's go to eight. I think they're still talking about their hero. Hopefully not. But probably. however, that don't give don't don't care attitude. Of course, we're on the platform. Yeah, it could fuck you up. They yeah, have guidelines. You yes. If you don't follow. Oh, he's gonna talk about YouTube. He's gonna talk about how he doesn't give a fuck attitude. And then wait, hey, they got the don't give a fuck attitude. We got demonetized. But when when they got demonetized, they started fucking crying. <laughs> oh, some pussies, bro. Hmm is a rebel. He does whatever he wants to do, and he's a definitely an avid follower of Andrew Tate, us as well, but he is all about free speech and being, uh, he's about- Oh my God, about like, they're still talking about him. I want to hear Bro, how- Two minutes of the actual topic, five or six minutes of dick riding Andrew Tate. <laughs> to, to, uh, truth through being funny. That leads to, you know, things being revealed, being exposed, and at the same time, it's kind of like, he doesn't give a shit. So we just say whatever you want. That are single. Yes. So imagine your girlfriend, bro, wife. My is about like, okay, 10 hours a day. Oh, she said that. She did this. And it's like, all right, bro. Like, these girls have no, nothing to stand on. So what's happening is they're being brainwashed by society, also by random girls on the internet. And what happens is. You can tell he's not actually speaking from his own knowledge base. He's just repeating what he heard someone else say. They become a part of that same demographic. Now, luckily for us, we can look at say and say, you know what? If you go to Colombia, you go to like, for example, a country outside of this this whole like um, agenda, mm -hmm. they're more feminine, more submissive, and they actually want to be a wife, as opposed to you, who impregnated a hooker in America. Okay. Now, here's the question. I feel like we should show one more cringe clip before we hit the receipts. Do you want to see the CEO network mastermind in Miami? Or no. do you want to see the, she got my mom a gift and now it's serious? What? I just... <laughs> Both sound fucking retarded, but at least that one, the title is at least like not hiding the fact that it's retarded. So. No, we're going to go wait, to wait, this. Wait, no, go back to the... No, let's women. go to... No, I'm going to make you no, watch a CEO no, no, network no, 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 mastermind. No, wait, wait, no, real quick. No, real quick. Go back to the other video. Got rid of it. Sorry. It's okay. gone. Or right, do you okay. want to see... Or it said you want to see the CEO network mastermind yacht day of a bunch of dudes. Y going yacht to, day. <laughs> let's go watch a yacht day then. Oh, right now. <laughs> Look at these wow. hookers. <laughs> they're, they're all on their phones. Just... Okay, okay. Let me, just, let me do yeah, the super ahead. chats real quick. I'm yeah, having too much fun. We got 583 listening. We're going to get the receipts here in like 20 minutes, guys. Don't worry. We'll laugh at the receipts. You say 20 minutes, but I know, well, I know for a fact it's going to be like 30. Oh, wow, Chaz. I'm 10 minutes off. Boo fucking who? Um, TAB says, long time, no donation. Also, hi, Chaz. Hi. We'll say his name, TAB. Hi, BAT. <sighs> Frostbite says, after baby, the Puniti ate fresh and fit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it wasn't fresh and fit since she was 13, man. I'd love to know the baby mama's body count, like straight up. 
<laughs> I, get I, her want know how old, I want to know how old she is because if he's talking about young submissive women and she's like 28 or some shit these guys talk about young submissive feminine women because they know that's what men online want to hear about and will pay and donate for people who talk about it they don't go for young submissive women they go for pro american prostitutes they, they go for straight up american hookers bro let me put your uh let me put your image up I mean, someone, they're a classic case of say what everyone wants to hear. Wait, someone okay. says, wait, someone says, Fresh was always the weakest link, says Vino. Look, man, if you're comparing a short, fat Barbados incel and a light skinted gay fed, that's like being like, well, you know. I think that the person starving to death during the Bataan Death March was probably more fit than a um, Hiroshima survivor after they had their skin melted off. It's like, yeah, probably. But really? <laughs> They're both extremely weak. Let's see. The last type Punitia had was in high school, says Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> Damn, took like six attempts to get that past the gay tube sensors. Um, let's see here. Finessed wallet, fraud, X Fed, gay fed. Has Chronic ever talked about Zerka? I think once. I don't, I don't like him. He's just another Andrew Tate cock rider, bro. Talk about Zerka. I saw him ride Andrew Tate's dick for 30 minutes. And I'm like, another roach. So, until he gets exposed or the shit kicked out of him, I'm not going to do a response about him, guys. Let's see. I mean, in terms of speaking, Myron is the only reason they're famous. I mean, yeah, I agree. Myron carries a show, but that's not a high bar. Yeah, he, look, the reason he carries a show, the reason the show was big, because he's a fucking fed. How many times do I got to say it, guys? You say think it one more do, time. Are the feds in charge of YouTube? No. Do you, do you think that the FBI has a direct access to the CEO of YouTube? Yes. Yeah. Do you think they say, take this kind of content down? Yes. This shit was subpoenaed in Congress. There were FBI agents linked to every single fucking major social media site. So out of nowhere, Fresh and Fit get huge. They get pushed in the algorithm. And the biggest thing is they don't get banned. Do you think the feds want them around? Obviously, because if they didn't want them around, they banned Ribby the Party Frog for a picture of a fully clothed woman. Okay. If they don't want you around, they don't fucking need a reason. So the fact Fresh and Fit is still around means that they are a fucking federal asset. How many times do I do I have to beat this into your heads, guys? It's not talent. It's the ability to get on your hands and knees in front of a 55-year-old white guy as he undoes his tie in DC. And he's just like, you look real pretty, boy. That's what it is. Oh, sorry. I'm getting just... Anyhow. Let's see. No doubt Fed's got their eyes on the entire internet. Exactly, Chronic. Yeah. No, if they wanted me gone, if they thought I was an actual big enough problem, they would, but they just cut off my access. They said, You're not gonna hey, you're not gonna get to 60. How long have I been at 58k subs, bro? A while. <laughs> like a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, so it's whatever. I mean, there's a chance I just suck at YouTube and people don't want to sub because I suck at YouTube. Sure. Okay. Well then why did they get rid of Ruby's channel out of nowhere? Why, why, why are my boys getting demonetized for bullshit? Why, why is Sir Yedis getting demonetized on new channel? Sir Yedis made a new channel to get monetized, and he was clean, and that bitch got demonetized like in a week. Why, why do you think that is? Yeah, it's just... Keep him down. They keep him Grigas down out here. Anyhow, yeah, let's watch Yacht Day. Yacht Day. Hey, Chronic... If you ever find me partying on a yacht with a bunch of hookers and top G's, I give you permission to throw me overboard just to make sure I drown. Look, if you're partying on the yacht with a bunch of hookers and a bunch of dudes, that's not, I don't care, whatever. If you're partying on a yacht with a bunch of hookers and dudes and filming it as a flex, then I'm going to throw you overboard. Okay. Yeah. This stupid ass. Look, he's holding an umbrella. On a on a clear day, 
walking to three cars in front of a plane. This is the dumbest shit I've whatever. Oh, yo, shout out. I got it. We got to oh. do the full analysis here. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, before you start, I got a nice donation as well. So thank you for that. Well, for taking nice? a shot. Over 30 bucks? Uh, it's only 10. Okay, I don't want to say only 10 like I'm some No, sort no, you're fine. Yeah, it's, it's 10. It's 10. Uh, did they tell you to take a shot? They did, but all, all I have is Everclear, and it's oh, only 6 o'clock. And... Okay, first of all, it's 6 o'clock, right? And I don't want to drink at, like, this early. And if also, you don't I want the price. Tent, if you're not going to take the Everclear shot, refund the donation. No, 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 no. I didn't, ma I didn't say I would take a shot if I got a donation. But now, if someone sends another $10 to my cash up, I'll take a shot for 20 in total. How about that? I don't like it, but I'll, I'll accept it. Halfway there, guys. Can I make you take half a shot? No. You fucking pussy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's continue. See, I'm even mean to my friends, guys. But uh, I'll be even more mean. Okay, first of all. Oh, look, she got some big legs. Oh, uh, you can tell when it's low quality that a chick is fat when her tatas don't even stick out that much with the upper chest. Oh, look at this. Oh, we're going to nah. Oh, look, a dude that hits biceps twice a week and that's it. Okay. Right now. Notice they're all Latina thoughts, by the way. And they're on their phones. Like, they're not talking. Look, the, the two closest people on this boat are two dudes. <laughs> Okay, chronic. Th th am I antisocial, or does this look like the least kind of fun party setting you could possibly have? Is this guy's have? arm on this guy's leg, bro? Oh no, it's okay, man. Just talk to her. She's right there. Oh man, see you networking the girls. Net. Wait, did you say I'm networking with girls? Please look. One, two, three, four chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dudes. Four chicks, seven dudes. Okay. <laughs> they are they are only talking to each other the chicks why even have the chicks I, like okay chronic i don't know if i just am anti-social at this point i don't get this this doesn't make sense to me I just... dude bro <laughs> they, they have four hoes in the middle they're not even talking to them Oh, look, this is, wait, this is this, let me just state the title of the video, CEO Network Mastermind Yacht Day. <laughs> oh, this is pathetic on another level. They got more dudes up there. <laughs> they got more guys up there. So wait, it's like, that was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the, uh, we'll assume 13, actually 13. 13 guys to four chicks. And the chicks don't know, and, and three of the chicks don't know any of the guys because they're all just sitting there talking to each other. Yeah. I'm Rickle right now, guys. You see the guys. Oh, that's a girl. So five chicks, but there's another dude. Dude, the amount of guys that keep on popping out of the corners of this place, you think it's fucking Jack Murphy's like, house during a gangbang? <laughs> like, was it a three to one ratio? That doesn't sound very good. This is ratio is horrible. It, yeah, it's it might be it. No. I think there might be 16 dudes on the boat. It's like a 4 to 1 ratio, bro. Ugh. This dude is just taking pictures of his, of his thought, too. You know what would be funny? It's like me and Jazz rent like a fucking canoe. And we're canoeing together. <laughs> and we have fishing rods. And we like canoe next to them. Like, we, you go, y'all must have caught a lot of fish. <laughs> Is there a fish market? Oh. Mastermind seal network meet up. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. CEO mastermind class. Four chicks, like 16 dudes, bro. Yikes. Good success mindset. Let's go. You literally have a simp taking pictures for a woman's Instagram, and you're calling him a CEO network mastermind? Oh man! Man, photographer extraordinaire, photographer extraordinaire. Yeah. This guy's texting. 
literally every single motherfucker with a good phone can be a, a cameraman extraordinaire. It's not like a... <sighs> literally everyone can just be a, a CEO nowadays. Everyone can just be a photographer. Well, they're, they always got to put penis-shaped objects in their hand, too. You notice oh, that? Oh, come on! <laughs> you notice that? I know, oh, I, know I follow you on Instagram because I saw that Lambo you paid. Uh, this is who pays three thousand dollars for a masculinity course. By the way, this is who does it. What are you saying, bro? What's good, fresh? Listen, bro. I know you're fitting all that shit, bro. But you know what, bro? What's up? The way this guy's talking. I know you're fresh. And all, you're fresh and all that. Oh, he's like, I know you're fitting all that, bro. But you know what, bro? Like, I can just, I feel the low charisma coming off of this guy like look this guy's literally sneering at him <laughs> you see this dude yeah. oh my god he's really just like Ugh. <laughs> like <laughs> hey hey man we were having a nice deep conversation together you just butt in like that he's like Ugh, Ugh. bro fucking cock block <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna get some tonight then you said he was fresh oh bro 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 you know what i got on you Black. Wait, this guy spent like ten thousand dollars during this club, and he can't spend twenty dollars for some fucking acting pads for his forehead. You see this? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Why is this dude look, doing uh, the spread eagle facing this guy? <laughs> okay, look. I, feel free to take this out of context. They all look the same. The chicks, they all look the same. The guys, white shirt, shorts, sunglasses. They all look. So, like, I don't know if it you was know, You know why? Because I guarantee you, this dude gave them a dress code. For a yacht party, for networking on a also, yacht. Also, would you consider this little ass boat a yacht? No, that's not a fucking yacht. No, it's not. Well, my, well, my father, it's a good boat, my father, who's not, not a maritime person, he bought a boat for the family, and it was like twice the size of this shit. Yeah. Although... I am extremely privileged, so I guess it doesn't count. Let's continue. Check that privilege, bro. What's that? Are you good? What's that? Man? Good, bro? Yo, Cohibo. Oh, yeah, direct. Dude, they all look the same. All of them. Okay. Look at this dude. This dude looks like... This dude looks like from the game Frogger. <laughs> this motherfucker from Battletoads, bro. And you know what's funny? What? Look at how... Look. I don't buy Ray Barons because I buy land. I don't buy brands. But I will say that's the the fakest pair of fucking Ray Barons I have ever seen in my entire life. What do you guys think? It just looks like cheap plastic. Let's continue. I didn't bring mine. I know, man. But I'm not gonna lie. Nice lights. Right? <laughs> you see what I said? Yo. Look, this girl's trying to get more action with another girl than any of the guys. Why this dude has one ass long dread? No, never mind. Good? What up, what up? Yo, this guy right here, man, he's dangerous, oh, bro. He thinks he's dangerous? The only thing dangerous about this guy is if climate change actually exists and it follows the trajectory of his hairline disappearing. Just look at this. I would not describe anyone on this boat as dangerous. Bro, have you ever had a Chia pet? <laughs> Ch -ch -ch chia they like grow the hair out it's like this dude had a chia pet and he put it in the closet and this is what happens <laughs> man he's dangerous oh, bro he what? thinks, he, he thinks he's do, slick he's slick, very I smooth do. very <laughs> smooth jack yeah we said peter and dan peter oh man you just know you just know the man with no plan oh. <laughs> he's that bringing the girl where's she at man? where's she at bro wait so they had to bring their own bitches you pay two thousand dollars <laughs> for a boat ride you gotta bring your own bitch huh this is so see this is such a ceo mastermind class i mean these guys are just clearly all rich and jacked and they get all the women and when they have a free boat trip apparently no women want to hang out with them huh interesting well no 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 you forgot to add for free Yep. He said, he said, I didn't want to bring my main. You don't have a main, bro. It, you, you're, you, you have a main, like my little brother had a main when we were playing Smash together and his controller was unplugged. 
You have girls you really want to have sex with, but they don't go out with you. Uh, I'm wrong. Nah, never mind. But anyhow, uh, we're heading to Star Island. Some, some jet skis real quick, so uh, should be fun. And uh, drinks in the back. So. <laughs> this is sad. This is so sad. She clearly, she's looking away from him as he's trying to flirt. I guys want water, man. I can't. Okay, let's just. Should we skip four? Oh wait, no. Let's skip four to the disc. <laughs> CEO networking. Look, look, look this motherfucker in the back, bro. It's someone's dad, dude. Go home. You got tennis practice, motherfucker. This guy's like, my name is Unga Huta. I was dropped on my head as a baby. I have a little conan now. God damn. Podcast. Uh, one multi-million dollar real estate portfolio. Okay. Enough if you're babies. going to, like... And they couldn't even have a good mic for them to talk into. Like, no. it's nice fucking networking. Oh, bro, that was hilarious. <laughs> Wanna know what else is hilarious? What's that? I got another 10 bucks. No oh, time to take a shot, motherfucker. No, you see, I can also bully the viewers into giving me money for alcohol. That's not jazz. Let me show you what bullying the viewers is. Let me let me teach you something. <laughs> let, let me teach you what bullying is. You, you asking for money to drink is not bullying. That's you asking for, you know, selling a service. Selling my kidneys. You see this, right? No. I don't want to see it. So this woman was starting beef with me. And she said, you stalk middle school girls, huh? The hundreds of likes with simps. And so I said, you eat them. And this, because I just posted a profile picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this, I'm is sorry. Bully no, viewers. No, this is how to bully viewers. I'm going to leave this chick, this fat chick, up on the screen until someone sends me 10 bucks. There you go. <laughs> that was great. You eat them. <laughs> okay, you got a drink? Uh, Yeah, give me a sec. Got to pull out my chaser. What are you chasing with? Uh, Just like a green tea. Also, guys... This is who calls you an incel online. Let me read her bio. Her tag is at F-U-Q underscore, so fuck, capitalism. <laughs> so without cap, you know what? Capitalism is a reason why she's so fat because she has all these excess calories. So maybe, yeah, uh, maybe. But her bio says child abuse survivor. Natural law resource-based economy is our only hope. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. A natural law resource based economy? Does she even know what natural law means? It, bitches have a fantasy. Bitches, and that includes leftist men, they have a fantasy of what nature is. They see nature as like a Disney movie. They see nature like Bambi. Walking through the f forest with flowers blooming and bullshit. You know what would happen to Bambi, 50% of little Bambis, if the white man didn't affect North America's ecosystem? What? Bambi would get torn apart while it's still alive by wolves. Yeah. America's the land of the wolf. And the white man killed them all because... The I got that stupid. dog in me. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, she literally will have a dog in her tonight, by the way. <laughs> Okay, she says anti-capitalist. Okay, I mean, hey, you can make arguments. Pro-choice. Well, the more I look at your face, I feel more and more pro-choice. I agree. Atheist. Imagine my fucking shock. Anti-establishmentarian. <laughs> Anti-establishmentarian. Okay, sure. Yeah, she says you stock middle school girls, huh? Well, she eats them. And you know, there's a big risk. Oh, wait. I got two super chats. This is Nene. Nene Nay says, another pickup artist fails. Praise the green man. And Toxic Gator says, for $10, enhance Grigga 
I've been skipping eye workouts. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks to enhance. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to enhance it, make it full screen. First, we're going to start with the hairline. Dude, dude, this chick's hairline looks like a parallelogram. <laughs> like, like you look at the eyebrows at the hairline, it's like a per, it looks like a geometry problem. Then you look at the eyes, and then oh, she got some bad acne, dude. She got a big old acne on the left on her left. And she's cheek. got she's also got piercing, which shows that she's so quirky and loves her body or some shit. You know what? I'm gonna even enhance more because this guy sent me ten bucks. I'm gonna show you Grigas the neck. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is real bullying right well, here. Is, oh, bro. <laughs> you know what, Chronic, can I take my shot now before I start looking at the stream? No, take, no look at the stream and then let's take a shot. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Cheers. 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 Let me see if she has any other pictures we can uh, show off. How'd she get so fat? Laziness, undisciplined, eating a bunch of bullshit. That's how. Uh, ooh. But literally every time I take a shot of this shit, it just like sends ripples, waves through my body. I just like spasm for a sec. I mean, that's what Everclear, dude, Everclear is the strongest liquor you will drink. I thought I started making some moonshine. I mean, they literally have, like, organic chemists working on how to distill it even better. So, no, even if you make moonshine, bro, Everclear is stronger than moonshine. It ain't moonshine if it's got a, if it's taxed at the checkout. If you ain't getting shot at by <laughs> cops, it's not moonshine. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't post any pictures of herself. Surprise, surprise. So, I can't find another. Uh, so, let me just move up back to the face. <laughs> let me make it big enough so it's actually... Her entire face. It's just her face. <laughs> okay. Oh, she got 50k subs. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. Like followers or subs on like YouTube? Well, followers and Twitter. People, okay. this one chick, dude, this Christian chick was complaining about how I it was like, you know, I had to make a version even if I'm not a virgin. She's got like 50k subs on Twitter. She says, I'm not going to call into your show. I definitely have more reach than you do. And so I just tweeted out a picture for fucking YouTube channel with 5k subs and a picture of mine with 5k subs or with 60, with 58k subs. I'm like, okay, bitch. <laughs> okay, bitch. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I think we got another super chat. What are they going to say? Uh... I think, actually, no, I think we're good now. I've enhanced yeah. it. Let's get to the actual meat of the show. An hour and a half in. Let's get to these receipts. Okay. I gotta make this normal size though. Bro, her forehead has more plowable land than Nebraska. Wait a sec. Hey, let me go take a uh, let me go take a piss. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll look at chat. Cool. Okay, chat. Chronic's gonna take his, you know, patented, trademarked, fifteen second piss. So I'm gonna have to do a stall for like twenty seconds because that man doesn't take any time. Someone save us! There's no saving us, Walt. No one can save us now. These are the hard sets we shouldn't skip. You're right, man. I, I've been skipping real hard. I wonder how fucked up I would get. Taking shots of Everclear and then drinking an energy drink, right? I, I well, time to see how my kidneys are going to handle this one. I will honestly be surprised if I don't have liver failure by the time I'm forty. But you know what? You got to you got to live life, as Top G Fresh and Fit would say. You got to live life to the fullest. You got to buy a yacht, get hammered, smoke cigars, talk to bitches that don't want to be around you at all. Chaz needs another. Yeah, feel free to spike my wallet. I'll spike my Everclear with, you know, a rain energy drink, right? Like, fuck it. Top G ever. Top G ain't ever do that shit. Hey, Fido. Chat, say hi, Fido. Fido loves you guys. 
he doesn't know it, but sometimes his treats that I buy for him are supported directly via cash app dot cash sign Kaiden Chaz. So if you want to send something and you say for Fido, I'll make sure I buy like a bag of treats for him next time I go to the store. He's a good boy. I love my dog. Chaz, that alchemy is forbidden. There, There's no such thing as forbidden. I don't even know the definition of that word. Chaz, that gonna that's gonna be a vodka Red Bull on steroids. Yeah, I guys, I am zero or a hundred. I don't do no rinky dinky little beer before taking a shot of Everclear. I go from zero percent blood alcohol to ninety five percent wood grain blood alcohol. Ah, uh, there's all the high phytos. Ah, uh, you love. They're shouting you out, buddy. Chat loves you. Fido's the top. Yeah, Fido's top G. Ain't that right, buddy? You're top G. Oh, what a good dog. Rip Otto, yeah. Rest in peace, Otto. Keep your dog away from white women, Chess. Yeah, don't worry. I, I actually uh, I make sure he's always on a leash whenever I'm taking him on a walk. Because if a white woman ever walks up to me and says, oh, that's a cute dog, I'm going to grab him, pick him up, and run the hell away. Because I know that she's trying to steal him away from me. <laughs> I, I'm just imagining that scenario. A woman walking up to me, trying to make small talk. Like, she finds me attractive. She likes my dog. And I just completely misconstrued it as like, oh, she's trying to fuck my dog. <laughs> I gotta get out of there. Give Fido some Griga snacks. I don't think giving Fido edibles would make him too happy, but, you know, what do I know? Knowing these white women, the dog could get more than a tater tot. Oh, no. D don't be pissing off them tater tots, bro. This ain't... We're, we're not supposed to be roasting the tater tots. We're supposed to be roasting fresh and fit. Fed and fraud. Damn, I'm... I'm not going to lie. It kind of sucks seeing chat just, you know, the viewers go down. It was like at 560 and now it's down to like 520. Damn. I really don't make good content. Rip Bozo. She has peanut butter. Okay, I'm not going to lie. If she is walking around with like a thing of Jif peanut butter in a purse, she's got my heart before she's got Fido's heart. Look, if a chick ever walks up to me and says, hey, you look pretty malnourished. Here's a PB&J. Boom. I'm sorry, guys. I'm hooked. Fido, Fido better strap it up. Yo, me and Fido, when we go to the range, Fido's like, you know, he's my little guy. He carries around extra clips for me, extra mags. That way I'm never low on ammo. Me and Fido, we're top G. When me and Fido are working together, no one can stop us. Ain't that right, buddy? I heard you say my pee breaks are too short. So I went and I started a war between my two months. Good, good. One of them is very lazy. He just wants to lay around all day. He thinks he's a alpha. And the other one's still a young, a young buck, a young pup. Fully grown, but still has the mind of a puppy. Just wants to play all the time. And so the lazy one doesn't care about toys or anything unless it sees the puppy that really wants a toy. And then they'll fight. So I'll like hold up a toy in front of the puppy that goes nuts. It's like jumping up, like growling, like woofing, like doing circles. And I get ready to throw it. He runs off. And I throw it close to the old one. And the old one sits there. And as soon as the puppy starts running towards it, he grabs it. And they <laughs> just start fighting <laughs> for it. I feel like a gladiator. I feel like Ki I feel like um, Kaiser in Germany pitting the Germanic tribes against each other. I'm like, fight him. <laughs> get him. Get that boy. The command is get that boy. And they just – so they'll be sitting there. They'll be sleeping. And I'll be like, get that boy. They'll just start fighting each other. <laughs> it's so oh, funny. Good. Yeah, the, the 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 chill one. He was owned by an old lady for years, and she actually had to give him up because she got so old and frail she couldn't take him on walks. Oh. And so we adopted him from her. And every time we drive through uh, a part of um, the Midwest, we'll say we uh, I'll make sure to take I'll take the old dog to her. And the the last time I took the old dog to her, she just had some surgery. She's wheelchair bound. And I brought him into the room, and she started bawling, like like oh. the most emotional tears you'd ever seen. Because her husband died like 20 years ago. 
her two daughters died in like freak accidents. So all she had was this dog when she was old. And so I'll bring him back. And she's like, God bless you and your family. I'm just like, keep him for the night. I'll just get a hotel. She's like, no, you're not getting a hotel. You're staying in my daughter's room. So I stay in the daughter's room. And it's just so sad, dude. Because like she hasn't changed it since the daughter died. I think she died at like 23, 24 or something like that. And so it has like all this like stuff from a kid raised in like the 80s. So it's really like it seems like it feels like a museum, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah. But uh, anyhow, you, sometimes you got to show kindness to people you don't know, particularly. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the receipts. You ready? Yeah. yeah. We'll play the video first of the phone call, then we'll read the text messages. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm in a good mood for that tonight. What, laughing at, yep. a, cuckold, laughing at a simp? Yes. <laughs> wait, first of all, okay, let me make this a segment. Okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. But, but, like, while you're doing that, let me read chat. Punish Jesus says, or Punish Jesus says, <laughs> y'all stream, y'all streaming at the same time as Hammer? No, Hammerhand is streaming at the same time as us. We got to prioritize ourselves, guys. Yeah, well, I invited him on the show, and he's not obligated. He had a show planned. He has graphics planned. He does good video. So, so, you know, if you want to listen to Hammerhand, go listen to Hammerhand. If you want to listen to us roast a fucking cuckold, I mean, hey. <laughs> the Everclear is kicking in. Yo, Everclear never leaves my system. It's always in me. But whenever I take a shot, it's fresh Everclear. It's fresh and fit Everclear. B. Right? Watkins like, it, it, says, I hate to be mean and crass, but Chronic, did you smash the ghost of the dead daughter? Okay. So when I decided to spend the night last time, she wanted, it's like, you know, I'm like, so what are you doing? She, she's just like, I'm just going to make myself dinner. And she was going to literally put, like, because you guys don't understand. Old retirees, them making dinner, it's all microwave meals. Oh, yeah. So she's like, I'm going to make myself dinner. And I saw her, like, you know, pulling out a microwave meal. She's like, do you want one? Like, I'm like, put that back. I was like, put that back, Grandma. I started calling Grandma because she she felt really nice about it. I called her Grandma accident. She was just, like, you know, very happy. I was like, let me go get some groceries. I'll cook this dinner. What do you want to eat? Like, and she was just like, oh, it's so sweet. You don't have to. I'm like, just, what do Sim. you want to eat? She's like, pasta. So what Hell did I do? Yeah. I did, um, I did Cajun fettuccine alfredo with uh grilled because she had this grill she never grilled used, chicken grilled shrimp and chicken oh okay. uh, oh hell mm. dude. Why, hey, hey um what's, what's the word it was like como los dos it was like uh por que no los por que no los dos como estas por que no los dos why can't we have both <laughs> <laughs> so you know cooked it up and she was like showing me pictures of her daughter well what, their two daughters one was all right but the other dude she had one daughter that was like 100% like rock slash like because it was late 80s like going to be punk and I was like mm. so if that gussy approached me at the night I definitely would get with the gussy but uh no I didn't see the gussy but uh anyhow let's get back to something that's not heartwarming well it's heartwarming a different way so I'm here <laughs> with Kai and Chaz the um beetle anime red pill official extraordinary of the extraordinary and we have receipts here from Walter. Yeah, that's right. This guy's name, this guy's name is Walter. About how he got a girl pregnant and how he's trying to force her into getting an abortion. This is from Prada Perk. And this dude, this guy again, like less than two thousand uh, Twitter followers. This tweet has six point four million views. Right? He <laughs> says, Fresh and fit podcast host, quote unquote fresh, unquote, gets exposed after a call gets leaked where he is asking his girl for an abortion. Are you ready to listen to this? Yes. Okay. Make sure you're sharing it on StreamYard. Here we go. Oh, yes. Okay, first of all, you see this chick? What's the first <laughs> yeah. thing you think when you see this chick? Plastic surgery. I think Xenomorph what? Queen, a.k.a. Danger, 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 Danger. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing to think of. Let's see what happens. Oh. All right. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I <laughs> can't even speak any English. She, she's she's obviously like from an Eastern country. I just okay okay. I don't want to kill nobody. She's so conservative. I mean, yeah, she has unprotected sex with pickup artists, but now out of nowhere, 
she's anti-abortion. I guarantee you, if you got her single, unpregnant ass in a chair, she would be pro-choice. But as soon as she gets a baby by some guy she thinks is rich, she's going to be like, I can't kill a baby. It's murder. It's murder. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. Dude, this is like a conversation from two rudimentary AIs with the IQ of 50 combined. <laughs> it's not cool. Let me just take a pill. I can't. No. Well, they just give you a pill. No. They just give you a pill. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Is that just going to be the whole call for the next like 30 minutes? I hope so. It's only a two minute call. Well, yeah. I, I can't. Know. In my religion, we don't kill. In your religion, do you also like whore yourself out for money? Yeah. In your religion, do you have unprotected sex with pickup artists? I mean, look, guys, I don't like women like this. I don't like situations like this. But if it's a pickup roach. If it's a scum, a cur. What's the worst insult that's not a cuss word for you, Jess? Abomination is a word I really like, but I don't know if that's a good insult. You call it I would say ne I would say I would say Neanderthal, but I think you would, you know, be happy to hear that. So that's not really a good insult either. Yeah, if you call me Neanderthal. So cur, an aggressive dog, or one that is in poor condition, especially a mongrel, potentially related to rabies. Mongrel, Ooh, mongoloid. That's a good one. Mongoloid, mongoloid is racial. Um, oh, 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 yeah, mongols. Damn it. Well, not about okay, mongols. Okay. More like okay. I won't. I won't get into it. Okay, okay. okay I like okay. calling them curs because they're basically like beaten, starving dogs with rabies. Gotcha. They're cur. Yeah, that, but I don't like situations. But if it happens to this guy. Like, if Bernie Sanders got divorce graped and his wife took everything, I would be doing backflips on Capitol Hill. You're not killing Okay. <laughs> he just, he just you, could, you could almost hear the wheels turning in his big-ass head. He's just like, I am so fucked. <laughs> I want to keep the baby. Okay, well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. It's, okay, too, it's so too late for that motherfucker. Go okay, on. literally, if he doesn't want kids, if that's just defend, if he knows it, just get a vasectomy, right? Now, usually, just, just... I roast single mothers for saying they didn't have a choice. Because, like, condoms, douching, tracking your cycle, spermicide gel. With. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the birth control pill, the day after pill, an elective abortion, an implantable uterine device, a late-term abortion, adoption. But for a dude, if you know you don't want kids, wear a condom. Like, if you know you don't want kids, wear a condom. But it feels better without a condom. Get a vasectomy. I don't want a doctor doing that. But if you know you don't want kids, get a fucking vasectomy. How many, Chaz, I'm not sure how many old heads, old MGTOW guys, red pill guys you've heard, but Vasectomy I've heard was, Joker, you know, talk about it, but. He's oh, still sorry. a new age guy, but okay. I'm talking like Sandman, Terrence Pop, Tifa, all of them pro Vasectomy. If you don't want kids, get a Vasectomy. It's just the easiest decision. So this guy stole ideas, stole talking points from all the Manosphere. To get money so he could bang chicks like this, right? He lied to all of this guy, lied to all of us so he could bang chicks that look like this. Agreed? Yeah. I mean, is that her? Is that actually yep, that's her. her? Oh, okay. If he listened, if instead of just stealing the shit, if he actually listened to us, he would not be in the situation. That's why it's poetic justice. Yeah. He stole all of our shit. He profited off of all of our talking points because he was in bed with a gay fed. And if he just if he just fucking listened and actually opened his mind to the idea that the men he was stealing from were talking about good advice, he would not get this prostitute pregnant. 
I mean, a very good compare contrast kind of thing is drunk driving. We hear all the time, don't drink and drive, call a taxi, have a friend, drink under the limit, right? Like have one or two beers, then finish drinking at home. You hear that stuff all the time. And what keeps happening? People still think, oh, I can just get in my car after being hammered for three hours and then they kill somebody, right? Now imagine if I, I, I don't out. feel bad for that kind of guy. Imagine if like, a dude made about a million dollars off of a YouTube channel where he told people not to drink and drive. And then and he the, got a DUI. And then he gets a DUI. It's like, do you not hear yourself talk? Are you that that's this situation? He keeps talking about high value women, this and that, top G this and that. And then you know, I, I get with women all the time, and then what happens? This. So yep. You know. yep. You shouldn't have let it wait. You let him hit it raw. Didn't care if he's there or not. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. I gotta do a child support version of that song. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why would I do anything to you? He's so nervous. You could just look if you don't hear the beta in his voice right now, you're not really good at reading people. Like if you listen to this guy talk and you don't get any kind of information about how strong his will is, the content of his character, just by the way he's talking, not the word he's saying, the way he's talking, you really need to work on your people skills. Because right now I'm listening to a 100% scared, anxious, nervous, certified grade a american mystery month bitch yep nothing what why did i do anything to you no i know so like how are you gonna deal with this by by saying i don't want a baby that's all oh uh, he's just she just has the contract ready she has the papers ready and he's just sitting there like no please please don't Oh God, please no. I mean, I'm going to, the, to the doctor, I guess. <laughs> he, he is trying so hard, like, he desperately wants to say, do not put me on child support, right? That's his end goal. He just wants to forget about this, right? Like, oh, it's a one night stand, a little oopsie happened, and then move on. Right? He wants nothing to do with this kid. I can hear but. his diaper filling, by the way. <laughs> I literally can hear his diaper filling, bro. <laughs> it's just one baby. How much, how many diapers can it how make? How expensive could one lie. baby be? <laughs> oh, you're about to, you, you've been stealing from the red pill your entire little shitty career. Now you're going to understand that what we say, it's not just a shill for money, bitch. It's the truth. And you ignored our advice at every single turn while preaching it to make money off of vulnerable, young, black kids. So this is justice. This is justice. I hope she takes you for everything. I hope the family court judge crucifies you in downtown Miami. So yet young black men who think that they need to give you money to get women step back and be like, Nah, this guy's fucked up. Nah, he's fucked up. I don't want to be like that. Who wants to be like that? Who wants to have a baby mama taking child support from you? Anybody? Hmm? No. I mean, it, in all honesty, I think it would not only cost less, but be better to just say, I can just take the kid off your hands entirely. At that point, it, like, if you're worried about money, I mean, just having the kid with you directly living in the house, you can control, you know, the finances, right? But if she goes to the court, and makes the judge, you know, go through with the contract saying you're going to give X thousands of dollars a month. You don't know where it's going. You don't know what she's doing with it. So financially, just take care of the kid. But the responsibility scares him. His daddy left him when he was five. He's worried he might do the exact same thing. If this goes to court, we're going to find out just how fucking poor this guy is. Just how much of a lie all of this is. The yachts he rents, the cars he rents, the private jet he rents, not to fly, but to take pictures in. It's all going to get exposed. And once you get exposed as a, first of all, a fraud, second of all, a whoremonger, 
third of all, a pro-abortionist, who's who's going to respect you anymore? Hmm. Even 14-year-old kids can look at that and be like, this guy's full of shit. Let's continue. Yep. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? <laughs> look normally i don't say like a woman's right but th like he could have put on a condom you know he like he made the choice as well right he didn't pull out so you decided to hit her raw you didn't care right now now you want child support now you want child support <laughs> So I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, like, oh, wow. Like, so just think about it. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. No, it's, it's not. You didn't ask for a condom. He didn't ask for a condom. He finished inside of you. And now you're like, it's meant to be for me to get pregnant. Mm. You didn't get a vasectomy. You, you didn't use spermicide. You didn't track your cycle. You didn't wear a condom. And you didn't verify the kind of woman you were sleeping with. So this is – look, I blame this on this guy. Like especially because he's been stealing all of our fucking points in the manosphere. So I don't like this. I don't like when women do this. But if it's a weapon to be wielded against gay feds, oh, no. No, no, no. You know, I think I saw Fresh and Fit on January 6th. The feds should go to their house and check them out. Like straight up. Straight up. God what? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. He wears a cross, right? He was on that podcast wearing a cross. If him hearing that, the one of what his immediate response would be, "You're right. I'm Christian. Let's have the kid." But what is he about to say? Just, just play a little bit more. Hey, 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 Walter. Hey, Walter. Let me say this to you, man. In case you listen to this, God wants you to pay child support. God wants you to be poor. God wants you to be so drowning in financial ruin that you can't rent a Lamborghini. You can't rent a Bugatti. God wants your business to fail. God wants you to return the money to the men you've scammed. God wants you to sit there with HPV growing on your hoo-ha, thinking about the decisions you made in your life. God wants you to suffer because God wants to punish you. And God's punishment is suffering. That's what God wants. You know, she's a God wants you to have a baby. God wants fire to come down from the sky and immolate your sinful body and send your soul straight to the other area. But I'm not a prophet. Let's continue. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby seven years. Years wait, wait, never wait, wait. happened. I, I actually, Chronic, hold up a sec. Can you re rewind by like two seconds? Just real quick. That's I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. Like, so I'll just think about okay, it. Okay, I thought I heard a smoke detector go off. I was about to fucking flip out. Never mind. God, wants, to, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God I wants you to no, have the baby. I heard it. I heard it. Dude, I heard the I, I, wait, wait, let's, let's re-examine it. Let's re-examine it. Wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Did you fucking hear that? Oh my god, bro. Dude, you you have the ears of a fucking hawk, bro. <laughs> beep, 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 mother. Before you can worry about paying child support. They are never, they are never, they are, they are never being the accusations of being ignorant ninjas now. <laughs> Oh my god! That's what, Chad's Ch 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 like, go back two seconds. He's like, he's like, I'm like sitting at the damn like you know General Chronic at the top of the bridge of the spaceship. Chad's just like, rewind that. I heard something. It's just like beep. It's like we know their weakness. We know their weakness. We know their weakness. <laughs> Chaz, wait, Chad. Let me. Hey, let me stand up. Hey. Cheers to Chaz, <laughs> detector of the low batteries of the smoke alarm. Warband, oh, like, 07 okay. for Chaz in the chat. 07, cheers, Chaz. 
<laughs> I like a fucking sonar detector for that shit. That is so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> Chirp. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's continue. God want you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're fucking me for a month. Fucking me for a month. And she, her religion's important, but she's fucking him for a month. And you, I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like, it, I now I just think about if, like, if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, <laughs> you are a sin. We already said about having sex. But and, and now all I can do is hear that shit. You know? Fuck. Let's get to the receipts. Okay, okay. Leaked DMs. So, Fresh says, it was a joke. She says, all I am saying is, you should take the responsibility for what you did. I am a victim in this relationship. <laughs> you know what? This is so funny. Because this is the kind of stuff I would get upset about for, like, normies. But this is happening to a dude who's been making, quote, unquote, red pill content for years. And who the Years. fuck has... Okay, is his actual name Fresh? No, his Obviously name is Walter. Right. Okay, so why the fuck is he in the phone as Fresh? He probably like, adds himself to people's phones when they don't want it in there. He puts his own gross. names. Gross. Probably what, is this WhatsApp? I think this might be WhatsApp. You get to choose your own name or WhatsApp. Cringe. He says, I am the victim in this relationship, and I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. Imagine an Asian woman who learns English from hood rats. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Like, who says babe? It's obviously baby. Well, uh, it's it's you don't care and you don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. So, so he you does do want not, something. You do not want nothing. So that means you want something. That's not what she's okay. trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you're an Asian immigrant and you're trying to learn English and you're trying to join a community where it's just about how easy it is to speak English, go to the fucking hood because they don't speak good English. They speak simple, more animalistic English, right? That's yeah. why they abbreviate everything. That's why you know. That's why they say Pacific instead of saying specific because it's easier for them to just say it like that as opposed to reading the fucking word. I'm just saying, that's that's my vibe from this chick. He says, also, now I'm worried. I have to test other girls, at least four. I hope to God he gets four other hood rats pregnant. And they're like after they're done stripping him of resources, he's like in downtown Miami with a sign that says, I'll give head for $2. <laughs> she says, another girl, four girls. You were saying you have sex with four girls without protection. I hope you have all the money for your child support. There it is. She knows. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Get your bag, bitch. <laughs> I hope you have all the money for your child support. You finally admit you are a fucking, fucking trash. Yep. He says, and here he says, I don't have money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait a second. Hold the dude, up. Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> something ain't right. <laughs> so, wait. <laughs> something ain't right. The guy who calls himself, what was it, the CEO, like, network, the head of the CEO network doesn't have any money. Wait, the dude that rents yachts for his flamboyant friends to touch each other's knees in front of a bunch of women, he has no money. The guy whose YouTube intro is walking in front of three luxury cars in a private jet has no money. He says, good luck, LOL. You will see. Come on. Come on, Walter. Make a public YouTube video talking about how you have no money. Fucking do it. Do it and see what your fans say. Say, I don't have any money. Yeah, I don't have any money or game. I'm poor. She can't get money from me because I'm so poor. Well, weren't you talking about how to up your game and up your money for years? Huh. See, I'm not surprised. I always knew you were a poor motherfucker. 
I always knew Myron Gaines was a poor motherfucker. But Myron Gaines has a lot of videos from certain people in D.C. He can't, like, get released, so he does what his masters say. The white man, the Jewish man, saying, you better do this, dog, or you're going to end up like P. Diddy. So he says he's poor. Let's see what's next. He says, you should have a kid with someone you are with you are with love in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now. So, you know. That's what he said. All right. I guess we missed. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Did she yeah. say something about manning up? Yeah. I mean, she says man up yeah. right there. Yeah. Where? Uh, I, it was in the one further to the right. They may be a bit out of order. I don't know. I'm too drunk to care. One shot of Everclear does that to me. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three to four weeks, the doctor says, oh, okay. It's our baby, and you want to kill our baby. You're not being a good human. It's not about that right now. It's not good, and a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. <laughs> That's what I mean. I don't want kids right now, and we spoke about it, and you've agreed. I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep <laughs> <laughs> your zinc inside me, I will... <laughs> Do you not know how babies are? I thought it was the story. Oh, dude, dude. Bro, if it was maybe one act, if it was like, oh, I was having unprotected sex with her and some pre seminal fluid came out with a couple sperm imprinted in her, yeah, that sucks. You didn't even you know, finish the side. Like he's been special for saying, a month. You creep hide me regularly. <laughs> and he's like, you got pregnant? Huh? <laughs> Oh, so that so that's how babies are made. She take my money while I'm in need. Oh, she's traveling, friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger, way on time that digs on me. <laughs> Dude's been creaming a chick for an entire month, an entire month, and he's surprised that she got pregnant. Bro, do they not teach biology in the hood? Well, I know they don't, but... uh, Hood biology. Yeah, hood biology. If you have sex <laughs> with her and you're standing up, she can't get pregnant. <laughs> look, look, man, so long as you don't nut in sync with the smoke detector, you're clear. But if you sync with it, oh, God. that's the issue. She says, I don't get pregnant without your behavior. Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you. Don't, because you are nothing to me. But the baby's innocent. So not only is she telling him I'm pregnant, but she's saying we're breaking up. <laughs> There's no yeah, chance for a relationship. <laughs> he says, you should have a kid with someone you are in love with in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now so you know. He says, I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was in your house when I was in love. You wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, <laughs> you zinked in me with your own pleasure. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. The, the, just watching this guy's life fall apart in like 15 text exchanges on WhatsApp is the best result that could have happened for me. Like this is his misery. It's like, you know, it's like. If your enemy loses 10 points of power, do you gain 10 points of power? Most of the times, yes. He's losing 1,000 points of power. Do you know how much power I'm gaining or entertainment or good feelings? An infinite Like 30 of times power. whatever he is like losing. For every tear, he cries because he's going to be a poor, like a poor baby daddy fucking Miami. I'm crying like an entire fucking large quick trip cup filled with tears of joy <laughs> oh this is and you're not going to be doing a lot of that for the next 18 years bro because you're going to be a poor ass motherfucker <laughs> she says my be logic and be a man dude this this guy banged some chick off the boat that can't even form sentences man I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby. What are you saying? We are not together. And why won't be why that why won't be why would that be good for a kid? Both these people can't speak English. And bro. won't be why would that be good for a Dude, neither of these people can speak English. Neither of them. We got two immigrants who are uneducated, who are ignorant, having unprotected sex, and you know what? Their bastards are going to be funded off my fucking tax dollars. 
How about we deport Barbados simp? How about we deport the plastic thought and deport the bastard so I don't have to pay for it? You could pay for it in fucking Barbados. I don't want to be in, uh, get them out of my country. Get they can't even speak English. <laughs> Hey, Chronic, imagine you're just like going about your life in 18 years from now, right? Like your career's taken off. You've made a lot of money. You're driving your car and then you get carjacked and then you find out it's the child of Walter. How, like how hilarious would that be? Walter. <laughs> if Walter, your child, Jr. Oh, Walter Jr. <laughs> Walter, if Walter Jr. ever tries to carjack me, they're going to they're going to give you his remains in a fucking sealed beaker. There won't be any solid remains left. I will turn him into red mist. And my German Shepherd will probably grab a bone or two and get back in the car. <laughs> he says, what are you saying we are not together? Won't be... Okay, no, I said... She said, so why did you keep zinking inside of me? He says, <laughs> also, things happen. And yes, feelings change. But bringing a kid into this world without both parents, love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. Okay. So, like, you can't bring Kitty here because it needs two parents. Unironically, the next response from a kid needs two parents, if you're in this situation where you got to go pregnant and you're, like, unsure about it, is if, you're, if your argument is a kid needs two parents and she's saying, I'm going to have this kid, is to, quote, unquote, man up and marry her. She's already got you fucked. She's already got you on child support, bro. At least try to make her a wife. But he wasn't looking for a wife. He was looking for silicone tits. And so this whole thing falls apart when you realize, he says, a kid needs two parents in the world, but you're having unprotected sex with a prostitute. Huh. You're having unprotected sex with a woman you don't want to marry. And she gets pregnant. But you still think a kid needs both parents? And that's true. Why are you having unprotected sex before you get a vasectomy with a prostitute? Do you follow what I'm saying? Like, oh, here it is. Look, here's the. <laughs> she sent him the pregnancy test. Oh, <laughs> dude, bro, okay, bro. So, can so you, there's can you imagine? I, dude, I wish the... I could have seen his fucking face when he opened that picture on WhatsApp. <laughs> what a way to start a conversation. A pregnancy test picture. Just, here you go. You always told me you wanted to be your baby's mother. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I okay, think wait, I want wait, to wait, keep wait. the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. I'll call so, you shortly. Take your time. I can't okay. have kids. <laughs> well, Just, obviously you can, ninja. <laughs> uh, 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 Okay, I so, can't so, have kids. Well, this bitch is pregnant, bro. <laughs> Something's wrong with your addiction. Okay, so chronic. She's saying that they she was his girlfriend for a bit, right? For like he's been smashing her for at least a month, from what we know. And then she's saying in a few texts later that they're broken up and done with now that she's pregnant. Like I just I can't feel sorry for this guy. It's just... Look, look, look. Finna have the bro by the neck for the next 18 years. That's good. Trish well, got that's... what she wanted. Oh, <laughs> got that child support. <laughs> Bet it ain't even his. Drake laughing. Bro need to take accountability like he tell them women on a show. Oh, bro, that's a that's a fucking repost. Dude, that's a that's a banger. That's a yeah, repost. Okay. I'd let him make me a single mom, to be honest. I'm, and this is probably some porn stuff. Um, how do you got a whole podcast trying to tell men to avoid the situation with women, only to end up in the situation with a woman? Exactly. That's the whole like, point, dude. Like, he just and this guy says the red pill grift spills itself wide open. Don't trust grown men with no children when they talk about the virtues of family life and traditionalism. No, no, no. See, because the feds let them get this big, now we're all going to be judged by the actions of fucking Pumbaa on the internet. Red Pill was good, was uh, Red Pill until it's good of them, and then all of a sudden he's the biggest liberal. What a joke. Well, Red Pill doesn't mean liberal or conservative. It just means how to get bitches. Abba and, Abba and Preach are going to have a field day with this one. Let's continue. 
God wants you to have the baby. Fresh, definitely not. First of all, yikes. <laughs> Let's see. She sounds desperate. She is desperate. She wants to have the kid. And this guy, you know, guy communicates like an autistic teenager, bro. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he's literally telling you he doesn't want a kid, so you're going to bring a child to the world anyways to be dadless? He's dead-ass wrong, too, though, because why are you uh, zinking in her unprotected if you don't want a kid? The whole situation is messy. Big sign. <laughs> like, Once you go black, you become a single mom. Is Myron Gaines updates. It's invisible dad. Oh, no. You can't be saying that. Oh, baby not even hours old, and she's talking about child support. Boy, is deep fried cooked. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Escort pill, red pill, red, uh, red pill, devil fruit. Luffy says, escort pill wins again. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. If he has such strong convictions about not having a child, why doesn't he get snipped? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's see here. And he says, man, fresh hit the lottery. She's bad. Sounds like she was raised well. Man, I'd own up and say, F it. You're 30 and millionaire. Chill out, LOL. Not for long. See, Fresh doesn't – Walter doesn't want a family. If Walter if Walter and Myra Gaines both went on their show and said, we don't want families, nobody would watch them because the people who watch them are young, impressionable men that want families. So they have to keep up the grift of that. You know, this is how you get women and we might have a family one day. But when push comes to shove, I don't want a family. And so this guy's just like – no, you should say effort and take it. You're 30 million. He wants to have sex with prostitutes. He wants to drink tequila in shitty Miami dive bars. Actually, he didn't go to dive bars. He doesn't have that kind of style. He wants to drink, um, you know, Tito's tequila in some like Miami spring break bar and have sex with prostitutes and drunk women. That's what his goal of life is. And if he said my goal in life is to have as much meaningless sex as possible, getting drunk as much as possible – Nobody would respect him because they shouldn't. So, yeah, he's 30 and a millionaire. That's not going to last long. Mm -mm. That is not going to last long. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the Warband, consider donating to Cash App. Cash Sign Underchronic. That's Cash App. Cash Sign Underchronic. If you want more content like this, consider subscribing to Kite and Chaz. The link is in the description. He does red pill anime videos. Okay. I'm going to take a piss now. Read some comments, yeah, Chaz. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, how's chat doing? Uh, So I love how I fucking heard that smoke detector beep. That shit is now in my soul. That's ingrained in me. J just to hear that, right? Ah, uh, you know what? I, I peaked. I peaked with that bit alone. Just like, wait, <laughs> rewind, enhance, beep. There it is. But yeah, it's just a... Good old fashioned, he will say how to avoid these situations all he wants, but then when he's finally in this situation, right? His true colors get shown. I think, look, I myself, I am not Christian. I'm not about to say whether or not like I don't I don't try to put myself in like religious conversations because that's not my place, but he is wearing a cross on podcasts. He's obviously Christian to an extent. And then he's told, hey, you're going to have a son. And what does he instantly say? Like, get, just take the pill. I don't know. I honestly think that if he is so broke, one of what he should do, he should just take the kid by himself. Broke like, ass beta. Broke ass beta. It's just... Uh, and I'm not saying he'd be a great father. Hell, he'd probably be a really shitty father. But, you know, if he's so worried about money, maybe just have the kid, right? Just how about you just feed him Pop-Tarts for dinner every single night? Uh, that, that that wouldn't be a lot of money. Uh, no, no. I love you. <laughs> the kid's going to end up like that, bro. He says, I sent another 50 bucks to the artist for the art. Oh, dope. Okay, let me, let me make sure. Um, this man single-handedly paying off my debt to Gecko Ninja. <laughs> there, there nice. Bye-bye. Ayo. Griga. You just get 50 bucks. My debt is being paid 
buy some um, oak tree schlonged gun toting rich grigas. Gecko's gonna read that and be like, oh, what a <laughs> fucking visual, man. I don't need that. <laughs> Just like, why did I ever associate with this Griga? That's true. Okay, let's see. We got, all right, good night, Griggas. Um, Timon is a Chino. Yeah, no, he is. They're all Chinos, bro. 99% of people who wear crosses are Chinos. We got on for the rest of the night, Chess. What you going on? I'm just going to try to edit a video. I, I finally, I got the audio recorded, like 80, 90% of the gameplay that I needed recorded. It's now just literally put it together. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. I might do, I might, uh, uh, depends, but I might do a, um, actually, if I stream tomorrow, guys, it's going to be like at 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, like pretty late. Maybe I'll even start at 11. Maybe I'll do a WGC. I did two UC. I want to do five UCW shows in a row, but um, end up doing some WGC shows because it's like late at night, unannounced. Fuck it, I'll play some games. But we had great conversations too. So I'm not, I'm not say they were bad shows. It's just I was initially trying to do UCW shows, but uh, yeah. yeah. See here, any other comments here in the chat? Wait, are the DMs done? Yeah, those are all the DMs. Maybe I'll update once I get a video of him crying in public, but uh, until then. Uh, Broderick Black says, when are you streaming next, Kite and Chess? I'm not sure. I want to prioritize making a video. And in all honesty, Answer I my man's fucking question, bro. He well, sent that, me 10 that's, bucks. That's the thing. I this don't weekend? know when I'm going to stream next. Like, I want to try to remake my obs layout right like i, no, I, I want to do I, mine I, I so you should see mine mine's disgusting yeah. <laughs> it's, no, so it, gross. It, it, it's like i've been wanting to improve my obs there's different layout scenes. for a while Dude, there's different but... scenes you can do transitions you do all this cool shit with the new versions yeah. i'm like mm. yeah like i've had i've had this same layout for well over a year and it's like i want to improve well, i think it, i've had the right? same layout for like four years yeah. it, it's, <laughs> it's not bad. not four it's bad the, the thing is it's that I also just got finished playing Persona 3 Reload, and that took me damn near 80 hours to get through. Like, my last stream was nine hours long, basically, and, you know, come on. I can't just do that every single day. I got shit to do. Just tell him when you're going to stream next. Like, the weekend, the week, in two weeks, in a month, the I... next full moon? <laughs> When the full moon is up on Friday the 13th and I finally get laid, then I'll stream. How about that? So if, Never. I, <laughs> if I send Walter's baby mama 500 bucks to come to your <laughs> house and fuck you. On I, I, would, I mean, I would be scared to know that you have my address and you just gave it to some thought. Well, I got a super chat. Um. For five bucks, he says, gotta watch a direct stream, but here's a mead fun. Thanks, man. But do you want to know what his cash app name is? What? Chaz Lurker Butt Baby. What does that even mean, bro? Like, what, is, what, is, what does that even mean? Butt Baby! Like, what, butt Baby! Chaz Lurker is a butt baby like a shit? So Chaz what? Lurker shit? I don't know. What? They just... <laughs> Chaz oh, Lurker no. Butt Baby, bro. <laughs> No, no, no. It's like Chaz Lurker, but... You know the they... funniest Cash Up thing was like uh, some guy that his Cash Up name was My Honey Boo Boo and a bunch of like hearts. And his <laughs> the only message he said, he 20 bucks. He said, I'm sorry for the... like, I'm, I'm sorry for the name. My ex-girlfriend made that count for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. now he's like, oh, my baby Honey Boo Boo kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, I dropped a 50. Chaz should chug an Everclear. This is Robert. Robert, uh, did you get 50, Chaz? Uh, I, did not, I did not get. I mean, let, let me check. It might be a bit delayed. I don't think I got a 50. Yeah, I'm not seeing a $50 donation as the most recent thing. So I'm just going to assume you're, you, you you're like, trying to pull a fast one on me. Maybe he was just like, I dropped a five. What does WGC not... show stand for? Uh, Warband Gaming and Chat. Warband gave me chat. Yeah. I guess I'll check my fucking PayPal, but yeah, I don't look, guys. Donating to Chronic to get me to drink is the exact opposite way you should get me to drink. No, if someone's donated me 50, I'm gonna make you drink. I just 
You can't make me do shit. Really, Jess? Yes. Mm, I could just hear your indecision in your voice there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm just, like, are you gonna buy the pill? Like, uh, y yes. Not nah, me you forcing Chaz to drink is like uh, Walter forcing his bitch to abort his kid. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. No, it's bad for my liver. I no kill liver. No kill liver. My <laughs> religion say no kill liver. I'm like, really? What happened on this stream? And this stream, you're like, that was sin. Uh, I'm different now. <laughs> I'm a new man, chronic. New man, new liver. That's funny as shit, bro. Oh, that's great. <laughs> no, I did. I new man now. I no kill liver. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this whole situation is just fucking hilarious, man. Yeah, if you don't it to fifty, I don't see it anywhere, man. So you might want to check it again. Yeah. Let's see. Ready in thirty. Okay. Oh shit! You're ready in thirty. Holy shit! We got other stuff I gotta do, Chaz. It's a busy night tonight. Damn, Devil's nectar that. pill. This reminds me of Odeon versus Joey when Ross tracked him down for being a fake Marek. I don't even know what that fucking means, bro. That, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. That's when Odeon was dueling jo Joey Wheeler in the end of the Battle City arc, and he summoned a fake version of the Winged Dragon of Ra. Now, see, the Winged Dragon of Ra is a god card, and it making a fake version of it, it found that to be blasphemous, so it smited Odeon for daring to even try to play that card. So Joey won, but by technical technicality so it's the unclear. guy got eaten by some egyptian god he's just like huh gets it all yeah, worked out of the yeah, end. Yeah. like joey wheeler's just a white guy he's just kind of there being like Dude, he's oh, like egyptian a chad bro cool. he's just like come on guys let's go <laughs> yeah no he, he's talking bad shit like hey you ain't shit your god card ain't shit fuck you it's great ah uh, there we go awesome there's my there's my chaz spurg macking maxing for the night well i didn't know the fucking reference so yeah it's good you well i did me. I did. Let's see. What uh, what song should I end with? Let's choose a good one. Uh, Collective Consciousness from the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance soundtrack. Now I'm going to choose one from the playlist. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Ask me, hey, what should we Discord, play? I'll check it out. Dude, dude, it's the same game from like the standing here. Nah, I got song. the best. I got the best song, man. Nah, I got, I got a great song. Yeah, okay, okay. I get You'll you. like it. You'll like it. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. Let's see here. I'll do Dude, the what a sad great... chronic outro. What's up? I'm just I'm just thinking here, like, what a great stream. We roasted him. We roasted the thought. We got a smoke alarm, right? <laughs> like, he got a smoke alarm, bro. <laughs> it's just you got it, dude. You caught that <laughs> shit. Like, dude. <laughs> I, I couldn't be happy. Chaz on his A game today, dude. For real, Wall. I, I, this is peak Chaz. Uh, this is this is probably some of Chaz's best fucking work on a stream. Dude, I, I made a meme for the stream. Good jokes, shots of Everclear. What more could you want? Oh, a shot of Everclear. Shot. Uh, okay, look. Let's, two, let's not let's two not get ahead of no, ourselves. No, 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 no. Two half ounce shots of Everclear back to back counts. Although I didn't do that. Okay. Would you rather have a fully grown man? To help you fight a cougar, <laughs> or do you want two midgets to help you fight a cougar? Two midgets, man. Like, okay, look, with three pe three people versus two people, the three people. I mean, okay, do they have guns? Nope. Are they packing? Nope. Fists. Uh, I mean, fists. Fists. Well, still, the cougar. If it goes for one of them, well, then we now have two people. The yo, cougar's the going for you first, and the midgets are going to like try to give it a prostate exam as it rips your throat out, bro. Look, so, man. A half a shot is not a shot. Numbers. No, don't be, don't be saying two half shots. Nah, you can't. Nah, Gregor. Nah, nah, no, nah, nah, nah don't, Gregor. don't worry. I took one full ounce shot. I'm not a pussy ass bitch. Yes, okay. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did take a full shot, but you didn't yeah, take yeah. shots. So we say we took shots. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Disagree there. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't say we were together. Like, we're just fucking. But you zinked in me, like, for a whole month straight. No, 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 no. I Like, take the... Dude, seriously. This motherfucker is trying to say how he's all top G and shit. I can just feel... Dude, I can feel his, like... I can feel his nuts going up into his abdominal cavity. He's so scared right now. <laughs> he knows oh, exactly good. how poor he is. He knows every time he says he's a millionaire on a stream, he's fucking lying. And so once those court docs come out, guys, oh, we're going to cover it. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Okay, Chaz, what do you want to say before we end the, end the show? 
uh keep an eye out on my channel you know subscribe hit the bell notifications all that i'm hoping to drop a video within the next few days it's just a matter of how lazy i feel the next few days but that's fine that's fine hey dude i'll yeah. talk to you later man hey man you oh, have before, a good rest of your leave. night you are yeah, sin <laughs> <laughs> you are sin oh i'll talk to you later oh. man okay have a good one peace then there was one, one war band, one warrior. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the war band, if you want to support conversations like this, exposing roaches like this, and you don't have 18 plus years of child support coming up, consider donating to cashapp.cashine under chronic. That's cashapp.cashine under chronic. It's been under chronic, guys. Take it easy. <laughs> you let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. You said I'm a had his kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. Now you a single. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. You said I'm a had his kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you a single me? mom. Now you a single mom. Now you a single. Showing a baby off. Showing a baby off. Now you a single. Showing a baby off. Showing a baby off. There's no good men but you, bitches. Stay pregnant. <laughs> Proud Lord said that I must bow so low. Only a cat of a different coat. That's all the truth I know. And a coat of gold, or a coat of red, a lion still has claws. And mine alone. Sharp, my lord, as long and sharp as yours. And so he spoke, and so he spoke, that lord of Castamere. But now the rains we bore his heart with no one there to hear. Yes, now the rains we pour us all and not a soul to hear. Yeah.
first and we can last. Keep your rifle by your side. Sing in, oh Lord, this earth was made for us. Sing in, oh Lord, this sinful life just ain't enough. So we'll take a stand, cause we must protect our land. Keep your rifle by your side. They'll come day and they'll come night. Have our children in their sights But if they don't have faith Their eyes are blind They can scream and they can shout But they can never smoke us out Keep your rifle by your side Sing in Oh Lord This earth was made for us Sing in Oh Lord This sinful life just ain't enough When we hear the voice We know we have no other Keep your rifle by your side They'll have bombs and they'll have tanks Cause they've got money in their banks But we won't fall